and good evening, and welcome back to Science and Sorcery, the show where science communicators play Dungeons and Dragons to raise money for charity. Uh, thank you so much for bearing with us. Uh, Gary's been fired for um, setting Sam's laptop on fire back strange. Uh, oh, it just said fire, Sam, not kill, but okay. Oh. Um, Sam misunderstood. Uh, so we're looking for a new production fired. assistant, but you know. Um, <laughs> That's nearly ready anyway. Exactly, exactly. Um, thank you so much for joining us again for uh, session seven of our campaign, Witness to Ruin. I am once again joined by Sam, Alex, Galil, and Rachel, my wonderful players. And I will give you a brief recap of what happened last week, very shortly. But first, a uh, quick announcement. Uh, we It is still April. We are still raising money for Lymphoma Action UK, a um, charity that is dedicated to supporting people affected by lymphoma. Um, but I also wanted to give a massive thank you to everyone who's already donated, because our goal was £100, and we're smashed it. We're on 241 Um This means I will be making you a nipple beholder at some point in the next couple of weeks. There will be a poll on the Science and Sorcerer Twitter account to name it. Um, there will be art. I will make sure of it. And I will make you a legendary magical item, which is a Zimmer frame. Um... If we reach £300, who knows what I'll do. But if you've donated um, and you haven't yet sent proof of your donation to the Science and Sorcery Twitter account at Sci and Sorcery, please do so before this Sunday um, when the fundraiser ends, you'll be entered into our giveaway to win a Science and Sorcery t-shirt. That is our only announcements, I believe. So, what happened last session? Last session, the party had arrived in the small city of the Citadel, uh, had been taken to Captain Signal's office, um, and eventually after get, getting paid for the work they'd been doing on the road, which uh, they didn't realize they would be, she took them to Chief Healer Hearn, who informed them that they um the healer needed assistance in finding some rare magical ingredients in order to try and cure cleric robin graykeep from the strange state in which he found himself they were asked to collect a spiny leaf jack-in-the-box a mysterious plant found only in the middle of the sorrow big swamps in the south of the kingdom Blood of a Revenant, um, who, thankfully, Captain Signal just had reports of a Revenant in the town of Siren, where the players managed to piss off pretty much everyone they ran into, except the mayor's kids. And the last thing they needed to find was water that has never seen light in this current, its current life cycle as, as water. On their way out, um, Nimbo, innocent and young, uh, thought he heard a whimpering puppy down an alley, wandered down, and promptly everyone got ambushed by some weird people. Uh, although things looked dire, Muck and M managed to turn things around, killing three of their assailants while Forth fled away, invisible, into the night. Still not sure who these people are, but you found a mysterious note saying that you must not succeed. And as you settled into an inn for the night, not sure how you might need to be feeling about this. The following day, you did some shopping, um, met a herbalist who asked you, who told you more about the spiny leaf jack in the box. And as you were leaving her home, a messenger from the captain had asked you to please return to the Red Rabbit Inn, where the captain was waiting for you to discuss last night's events. So that is where we find you. Your wallet's significantly lighter, <laughs> and getting to towards lunchtime. Before we go into the game, there are two more goblins on the goblin yep. deck now. <laughs> Ooh, don't worry, people. There's goblin plans happening. We are approaching peak goblin. <laughs> I think it can be more peak. <laughs> I, we need Sam to have to start layering up goblins like yeah. between the current goblins. They're just going to start uh, to appear around us. Like they're just yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. Our perfect. Perfect. It'll just be like our faces and just everything else is goblins. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Um, no, you found yourself in the street, uh, in the city, having been asked to return to the inn, um, sooner rather than later, but it didn't sound like it was, you know, immediate. What would you like to do? Is there anything else we need to do in the city? Right now? Because mm. we're, we're stacked up, we're, you know, stocked up, rather, uh, you know, I think we could probably, I mean, Red Rabbit Inn sounds like a pub. So <laughs> well, maybe we could go. It, it, that's the inn you stayed in the previous night. Oh, oh, oh okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. What time of day is it, DM? Uh, what time of day? Mm -hmm. It's like maybe eleven thirty. Oh, pub brunch. <gasps> that's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could do. It. I could do with some lunch. I mean, we could go and collect this reward money, presumably for killing those guys, but. I mean, maybe we talk to the captain first, and then we get the reward. I mean, that's what I was assuming it was going to be about. So. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the note raises a few questions. Mm. What was it? Waylay the sovereign's agents. They must not succeed. I mean, to be honest, if they wanted to do that, they could have just bought us like a drink or something. I'm sure we could have been convinced, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also, whoever wrote this note sounds like a hater, like a big one. Yeah, you... which seems harsh. Extra. Well, Unnecessary. Perhaps we all stay on our guard a little bit more going forward from here. But brunch. Yeah, fair. But, but a cautious brunch. Bottomless brunch. <laughs> All right. Oh, you... A tactical assault brunch. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that can be arranged. As you make your way back uh, towards the Red Rabbits, um, as you enter, it's relatively busy. There's a there's a decent like early lunch crowd. It seems, but you recognize a lot of the people are wearing military or like crest guard uniforms of some kind. Um, oh, I forgot we were staying in a cop bar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ar army bar um but it's the place is owned by captain signal's brother so you mm -hmm. know um and captain signal is uh sat at uh one of the tables uh chatting to her brother who's sort of leaning against one of the empty chairs um as they spot you they wave you over to the table um sit sit please um uh i'm buying lunch what uh what can my brother get you I think we've got a few things to chat about, so figured feeding you might be a good way to, you know. Uh, are we are we at chairs or tables? Uh, chairs or benches? Chairs. I turn the chair back this and then sit on it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Riker. <laughs> yeah. Bisexual legs again. They just the whole party just Rikers onto chairs simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Captain doesn't blink. <laughs> like, alright then. Um, so this is a vegetarian place, right? It's a vegetarian place, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so, for once, Em is going to be quite excited about food and say, what's the most popular thing on the menu? Oh, um, well, this time of year, we do uh, a really good uh, root vegetable toad in the hole with a vegetarian gravy. Um, that's uh that's probably our most popular um we've also if you want something a little bit lighter uh got a great uh salad with goat's cheese uh and um lentils hmm. i'm looking for a, for a quite a balanced meal do you do like small plates <laughs> I, I can make you some should we we could get some small plates to share you know some some veggie tapas mm, tapas that part sounds good. Um, I could get behind that. Sure. Elvish food. You're looking at this this guy. He, he's got like maybe a quarter elf blood. So it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, possible. Um, all right. Well, I'll get you all a bit of everything. Uh, anything to drink? Yes. <laughs> Just grog. For now, I guess. Do you have mimosas? Oh. It's brunch time. That is a good day drink. <laughs> yeah, do they have mimosas, actually? And if not, um, any sort of sparkling wine and orange juice and we'll make it happen. 
Um, I haven't got any orange juice, is the problem. Okay. We've got very good, um, what's the juice have I got? Uh, we got apple, elder, elderberry, uh, we've got elderflower, uh, if you want that. Um, elderflower wine, that's, uh, so pretty nice. Sam, not M, is going to be interested in the idea of there being any vodka as well as apple juice. Um, going for a frisky bison. Um, <laughs> That's not a real cocktail. Yes, it is. Zabrowka, bison grass, vodka, and apple juice. It's a frisky bison. Okay, all right, fine. Okay, um, there are nice. there are bison, which means there are bison grass, and there is also vodka. I was thinking when you said that it was going to have milk in it, but <laughs> mm, no, that'd be weird. No. You can probably get something with milk in it, but... That means M's gonna have to lap it up and we're not doing that. <laughs> That's a different stream. Yeah. yeah. Size of sorcery after dark. Yeah. <laughs> Give us enough money and you can have, like, Sam doing, like, ASMR with the... <laughs> I'm not watching that. I'm not, um... but Sam will, will produce it if just, they give us the money. Just for the, for the chat, um... Donate to our fundraiser for Lymphoma Action UK. <laughs> At three hundred pounds, Sam will do an ASMR stream where he just drinks milk. Let's not promise what we can't take no, back. Not... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. An Anyways, vodka we get some drinks. You have milkshakes. Uh, no, we d we don't have milkshakes. Okay, that's... Uh, uh, it's hard to make without a blender, which hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> I mean, that might be magic, I don't know. Oh, they don't have milkshakes. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> right. I'll take the... the uh, M's, whatever M's having, that sounds great. Alright! I'll, I'll go for that too. Four of those. Four of those, sis? Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll have one too. I saw uh, this is a fun bunch. I like you kids. Um, brother walks off and she gets a little bit more serious. Right, so you left. You left yesterday and immediately wandered into what my men described to me as an ambush. I you think we should be clear here. Nimbo. Wandered straight into what would be an ambush. Uh, well, I think we should be clear here. <laughs> Nimbo went to help an injured animal in an alley. Okay, yep. Um, that animal turned out to be an illusion, which turned out to be an ambush. I understand. All right. Um, I'll, I'll hold my hands up. You know, kind of my fault. I should have paid more attention. Probably the fault of the people who ambush you, really. I, yeah, thanks. don't victim yeah. blame Nimbo. I don't think. Yeah, Blurter. I don't think anyone <laughs> should take the blame for it. It's, there's been some strange things happening over these past three, day, three days, and we we seem to be being ambushed a lot, whether it is by groups or groups of people or trees or flying horses with claws on their legs. Yeah, um, you do seem to be attracting some attention. Do you, did those um the people who ambushed you last night did they say anything did they give any indication of who they might be one of them said oh shit and then flew away <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you were in a silent spell for the most part so. <laughs> yes, but... um that, that... has anyone got the note uh i might have the note somebody has the note anyway yeah, we'll somebody have will have the note yeah I produced the note from between my butt cheeks. <laughs> oh. Nature's pocket. That's it, nice and... yeah. Captain holds it gingerly by one corner. <laughs> and, okay, I'm gonna have to get some of my code breakers on that. Um, unless you know what it says? Uh, oh, yes, we... Um... How, how much do we trust this captain just to give all this information straight off? You can make an insight check if you want. Was it was oh. delay the sovereign's messengers at any cost? They cannot. Is Blurta just telling her? No, that, that, that's me refreshing it for the audience. Not... <laughs> okay. I'm. I'm. Um, I would like to insight if possible. Yeah, go for, I'd like go for to it. Help. Uh, you can make your own insight check. Okay, great. Also, it wasn't exactly that I 
think I paraphrased it slightly, but <laughs> I implicitly I got... trust natural one. <laughs> I, I got nineteen. I got nineteen. Okay. Um, yeah, um, you're like this woman is the most honest person I've ever met in my entire life. She cares so much about us. Oh my god. Um, Monk, you. You recognize her behavior a little bit more. She is clearly, you know, she's a commander in charge of safety in this city. Mm -hmm. And you lot showed up and someone immediately tried to kill you. Yeah. And she's she's not sure why. And she wants to know. So there's she she's not sure if she trusts you entirely either, because she feels like maybe mm -hmm. there's things that she that like ha that she hasn't been told. That's the impression you're getting. Um Cool. So, so do you tell you... her? I... I'm inclined to tell her. Okay. I'm Just happy. because it doesn't mean anything to us, so... I mean, yeah. Nimbo's not holding the piece of paper, but he's very inclined to trust authority figures. Yeah. Alright, so you tell her it said approximately, waylay the Sovereign's messengers. Uh, actually, I have the exact word in here. Uh, we lay the Sovereign's messengers at any cost. They must not succeed. I mean, honestly, they obviously think we're, like, super cool and dangerous. Otherwise, they wouldn't hire, like, assassins, I guess. So... Also, doesn't the Sovereign have other messengers? We can't be the only ones. I mean, maybe they killed his bossman already. I haven't heard anything about that. Um, you're the only ones who've arrived here since, well, in the past few days at least, um, since the initial earthquake relief. Uh, it's mostly been people leaving because, you know, we're a bit further away from the, the epicenter. You were, you were just sent to help the healer? No, I'm pretty much, and like, ambiently help everyone along the road and stuff. Oh, yes, of course, but... And the... Oh. Well, we're, we're meant to be helping the healer so that we can talk to the cleric that's being healed. Right. Because okay. he was... He has some experiences that might potentially shed some light on what's going on. We don't know. Okay. So it's maybe just what the high someone... priestess said. Hmm. Oh, she's... Uh, generally... Seems like a decent sort. I assume someone maybe then just doesn't want anyone talking to the cleric, or... I mean, you didn't piss anyone off on the way here, did you? No! 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 No. 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 Did we? Yes. Honestly. I mean, not anyone that knew that we were agents of the Sovereign, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty specific note. <laughs> Pretty sure that Nimbo and I had our press guard when we were in that bar. Oh yeah, but there are loads of press guard, right? But we're like specifically. I mean, a sovereign I, agent. Like most of I, so okay, I'm dropping out of character for a second. My impression is that like most, like most people seeing someone with a press guard badge would. would be, like a kid with a crest bar badge was like, this is basically an intern. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. So there's nothing specific to mark us out. No. I mean, the only... The, yeah, the only people that know that we are crest guard and that I can think that might might have any hand in that, there, there were those people in that bar... You know, the Which people that you this? the people that you played dice with. Um, yeah, very unpleasant dwarf. They had, you know, those tattoos. Oh. Mm. Mm. Um. Oh, you really are an interesting bunch. If she, this was in Seren, I assume. Yeah. Maybe the, the dead mice. That was the bar. I don't. Okay, don't tell me how you ended up there, but it was a bad you've been out of bad you've been out of school for less than a week, and you've already pissed off the sinless. The what? The sinless. Oh, that that sound good. No sin. Yeah. I, it's uh, I, ironic. I was going to say that bar seems. I mean, 
define what you mean by sin, really. They were cheating at games. That's kind of wrong. I mean, the, I mean, they didn't mind me, me and uh, Mark. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Not in front of the captain. <laughs> Well, we had an entirely sent reasonable visit, and then we left. Yes, right. We did okay. not accuse anyone of cheating. That's. I agree. I may have caused right. a slight bit of a ruckus. I don't know what. what... Mm -hmm. Unintentionally, but yes. But they don't. We didn't tell them what our what our goals were, what our mission is. The sinless tend to take care of their own business. The people we found yesterday didn't have those tattoos. Hmm. Oh, there's more of them. Great. The sinless is the um, biggest crime syndicate in the realm. Oh. Yeah. They've got local chapters, but... Um... Oh. Be careful. Probably fine. Mm. Might be. Depends on who you pissed off, really. If we're careful, we'll be able to, you know, keep it balanced. As long as you didn't piss off the boss in Siren, you might be alright. Who would that be? Last I heard, it was a... a tabaxi. Can't remember the name. Oh, I should not have gone so wasteful. It doesn't, it doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> I, I don't remember seeing friends. anyone like that. Yeah, well, well, might not be uh, out front, um, but um, you said you were playing dice with a dwarf. Yeah. Did you get a name? Probably. <laughs> Sam doesn't remember. Fair enough. All. 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 All the lawyer. I've heard of him. Oh, from Captain Durst's reports. Don't really know much about him, except he seems to represent all the sinless at trial. But well, that's nice. He's a he's not an honest man, but Oh no, that I don't doubt. You know, it is what it is. No. But so if it wasn't the sinless who came after us, do you think it was the same person who animated those trees? We told you about that, right? You did? Uh, might That's have been? That's expensive I don't... magic. I don't know a lot about magic, but I'm sure. I, I've never... I don't know much about assassins, but I assume they're not cheap. No, not usually. Um, and just because these people didn't bear the tattoos of the Sinless doesn't mean they weren't hired by the Sinless. you got to remember that. I like the idea that you can get like Aldi assassins that is just like <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but no, Aldi Bear's assassins rated. are surprisingly good. Yeah, actually. yeah. A lot of them come from the same assassin schools as the <laughs> bigger brand assassins, <laughs> but they're just they cost less. They've got they really from... good branding design to just make they, themselves they just... look similar. Yeah, they wear slightly different uniforms. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they have weird shit that they sell in one aisle. Um... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But they don't have Colin. <laughs> They've got a lot of guys, but they don't have Colin. <laughs> well, all I can say is if you're heading back to Siren is maybe be careful. Yeah. I hate So so we don't know any anything more about this? Oh, I mean you killed those three, so it's not like we could question them. There's an invisible flying owl. Guy yeah, somewhere. my 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 guys did mention that. Um, we're gonna keep an eye out for invisible owl people uh, or visible ones. Um, if you know they're doing something suspicious, oh, we think they use dust of disappearance, right? They dropped a little pouch mm. of it, and we picked up a bit. So you got it... the pouch from one of the corpses. Yeah, yeah. I think the owl had a ring. The right? owl had a ring of some kind oh, around oh, there. Yeah. Rats. Yeah. All right. Oh, magic items. Owlin. Mm. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah, we killed the magician one at least. We were, yes, you for did. the record, we were trying to keep one alive to question, but he had invisibility and wings. That's the one that got away here. 
Yeah. Honestly, happened to me once too. Okay. That's so refreshing to hear. That's so relatable. Mm -hmm. Future note, if we fight any other like gangs, we kill the winged one first. Deal. <laughs> generally a good generally a good rule, yeah. See see we're learning. We're still this education business is still working out for us. Every day I, is a school it day. does seem to be. It does seem to be. Um well you did kill three people who were clearly, if nothing worse, muggers and probably worse given the things you found on them. Um and I know that you were responsible for ensuring the safety of my citizens, so I will pay you Thanks. and buy you lunch. Um, but beyond that... Um, oh, here there is. You know, lunch gets brought out. It's lovely vegetarian tapas. The drinks Limbo are is great. acutely aware of how, like, how pretzel heavy his diet has been recently. And so he's kind of there really are trying... small pretzels. He's having some, but he's really trying to like uh, kind of co coordinate his consumption across the the tapas to make sure he gets the Very like good. a similar amount of everything. I feel like if Very you good. put any food in this country under a microscope, it's just like made up of tiny mm. pretzels. Mm. Yes. It's pretzels all the way down. Big <laughs> bad is just a big pretzel, the biggest pretzel. <laughs> No, the captain um, pays her brother and takes her leave, unless you have any further questions. Um, do we have, we have any other I questions? Think. I don't think so. How much right. did we get paid? 120 gold. So, so that is, 30. say, 30 gold each. Nice. Thank you, maths wizard. <laughs> <laughs> They're a warlock. Maths warlock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not got quite the same ring to it. It really doesn't, does it? No, that's why. Yeah, yeah. See, maths yeah, cleric has a even worse. I was gonna say a, a maths rogue sounds pretty cool. Oh yeah, maths champion. Maths rogue is like, oh no, I didn't fail the test. I'm just a maths rogue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what's on our to-do list now? We've got to make some water that's never seen light. We've got to go into the ooh, into the um, the the, the, the shape, sorrow. the sorrow. Sorry, yep. day nope. drinking always goes to my head. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go into the sorrow and mm -hmm. look for this bush, and we've got to check out Siron for those reports. What's our lead on the uh, on the revenant, Siron? Um, to ask Captain Durst. Um, Captain Durst had reports Captain Frederick of... Durst. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Captain Durst, uh, uh, her name's Lana. Lana Durst. Um, sorry, Lara nice. Durst. Lara. Um, Lara. I just whispered um, to Muck, Nimble, check out the bush again already. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, Captain Durst had had some reports that a revenant had been spotted, mm. uh, but couldn't find any evidence of the fact. But... Okay, so what, what do you what do you guys say we start with the easiest one, mm -hmm. and then we're going to work our way up? Yeah. Um, so we have a, like an opaque box, right, that we were given to put this special ice in, special water. Um... No, you've been given a bottle to put the water in. It is a clear glass bottle. You have a box that the healer has asked you to fill with berries from the plant in the Sora. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, if we just get a... Um, a light tight box. <laughs> That's not a word. Um... Yeah, How so... big is the bottle? What's the size of the bottle does, again? Does this bar do ice? You can ask... <laughs> Um, it's like maybe 250 milliliters. It's not very big. Is it like test tube or like you're like, you know, is it like flask, rounded, like flasky. rounded with a, with a neck? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So getting the water shouldn't be a problem because I can, uh, I can, you know, Vyas has, has given me the power to create water from essentially nothing. 
Mm. And I know, Dagmar, you like thermodynamically consistent magic. Uh, he's just <laughs> no, I, I accept it. it. I accept it. <laughs> <laughs> you can condense water at will, even if there's no water anywhere nearby. Um, so I guess our main thing is is excluding the light. Yeah. So why don't we set up, set up a big dark room where we've sealed off all the all the edges? You and have then... to be able to see it where you're doing it, or can you summon it inside the box directly, or inside that box directly? You mean the bottle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but the bottle would have to be in a box, otherwise it would see light subsequently. Not yeah, we can put it in the bottle. Yeah, not if it's then wrap up the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So, how do we seal off a room? I mean, we could just do it at night, to be honest. That would make it a lot. I easier. don't. I don't know how strict the rules are. Yeah. Like how if the how sealed does it have to? Is starlight too much? No. If the moon. Single... Yeah. If the moon's out, you're still getting sunlight, even if it doesn't seem that. Light. Well, that, that's why I'm... my pitch would be if. Oh, okay. This is simple enough. Okay, we, we get a box, we put the bottle in the box, you freeze ice into the bottle, we put the bottle in the box, and just leave it to melt. Uh, okay, so, uh, out of character, yes. this would very much, the, how the viability of this would depend very much on Dagmar's beneficence. <laughs> yes. um, so I don't have shape water which is the cantrip i would need to freeze it because that's not a cleric mm -hmm. spell but wait, but no. what's the phrasing of create water can you create water in the form of ice no it says that yeah you create oh. we create water or you create you create like either 10 gallons of water or a bunch of rain hmm. okay. um, um, but i do have frostbite you could cast frostbite on the water in the bottle to freeze it mm. Okay, yeah, so then we could... How does Frostbite work? What are the components? Does it have like a somatic component or some touch where you need to be touching the water? Just checking. Well, well it, I don't have to be touching it. I can be 60 feet okay. away. I just have to ah, see sick. it. Uh, it Amazing. doesn't matter if the ice is light from what was explained to us. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I, I, ice is still water. It's just a different form of well, water. I mean... We we know that, but that was how it was explained to us when we yes. queried this point. <laughs> so in the water cycle, the water needs to become liquid form and never see light while it is in liquid form. That is okay. what you were asked to do. And how much so, water do we need? 250 milliliters. Okay, so we need at least 272 grams of ice. Because the conversion rate is 0 0.92 when it goes from ice to water, you lose a, a bit of it. So, but then it doesn't. It, you why can don't we start start off with the right amount of water, and then as long as freeze. it's in a container that's larger than it, so it doesn't and then, up yeah. the best of glass. Yeah. If it's yeah. the yeah. container you have is large enough that you can make the right amount of ice. Sweet. Okay, so we don't even need to use create water. And just put water in, freeze it. We can just let yeah. It out. yeah. Although mm -hmm. the the water I'll create with create water will be a lot purer than any kind of well water or anything like that. And so if we're using it for medicine for a very important <laughs> quest, mm. just do it with like orange juice or something. <laughs> no, they've said they don't have orange juice. No. Oh, no yeah. <laughs> well, some of the apple juice like... and vodka. <laughs> like, okay, do it with apple juice. It's like, yes. It's... Ah, but, but vodka is much harder to freeze because of the but alcohol. Oh, you can freeze the water out, pour out the alcohol. <laughs> okay. Boil off the we're alcohol. Put, <laughs> we're putting way too... Oh, yeah, well, you know, that's how you, you freeze-dry stuff. Um, All we need to do is combine some hydrogen and oxygen <laughs> <Yeah>. in the <laughs> dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, because when you combine them, they burn, and so it will give off light. Oh, shit. That's the problem. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so All right. um Sam and Khalil, you can both take a D6. <laughs> <laughs> For all of that nonsense. <laughs> we we find a shady back alley and then we pee in the bottle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 
Now that's How inspiration. <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. I create I, I create ten gallons of water inside Blurter's bladder. <laughs> <laughs> she rockets Damn, off the ground. Are you still there? Uh, okay. Just so, checking. Why don't we uh, get get this task out of the way? Get this one off the list. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we need a dub. We lost the owl. It'd be nice to put one in the wind column. Yeah. So, do you have a box you're going to keep this in? Can we go buy a box, box shopping? <laughs> <laughs> the, the general store is genuinely like six houses down. So yes, you can well, like, you can definitely anything, go. Can just uh, really, really wrap up this bottle. In. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got, I must have something in here, in the older. Ooh. We can you get, can get we can... a solid-looking box for about five silver pieces if you wanted to. We should probably we could maybe or we could get the get the bottle painted. That's still it's still allowed too much through, I think. Okay. Curse you, Amish Kapoor again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go box shopping. How much does the box cost? Yep. Five silver. Yeah. Okay. I'll get the box. Oh. Okay, cool. You get it. I'll get. Actually, oh, no, for if Mux like buying, oh jeez, I was about to say if Mux buying, it'll only be four, because um, the uh, the lovely uh, half orc gentleman who run the general store give you a family discount. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not related, as far as you know. Okay, um, cool. sweet. Four as far as you four. know, you've never you've never seen these people before in your life, but they're they're very excited to give you the family discount. Okay, cool. Who works for me? But I am deep down quivering in fear. All right, discount box. Add items box. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the it's the like the best fitting one. <laughs> Add a custom item box. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Non-transparent. All right, I'm ready. So. Uh, we're gonna need to. Should we go back? Should we go up to our hotel room just so it's a bit darker in there? And we can like put, you know, like if you're trying to allegedly hotbox a room, and you like seal up all the gaps around the door and the windows. I've just had a thought. Does What's Em have box? minor illusion? Mm. No. No. Not the bill. I either. think. Rachel asked a very important question, which is, what's a hot box? Yeah, Khalil, what's a hot box? Let's, yeah, let's go into this science explanation. Um, so, <laughs> one of the... <laughs> one of the one of the most effective ways to introduce uh, pharmaceutical agents into the body is uh, inhalation. Um, so, for example, like an asthma inhaler. Um, oh, yeah. But sometimes uh, it can be when you need to treat a lot of people with one inhalant. Um, <laughs> what you need is you need to increase the concentration of the active uh, biochemical agent oh. in the surrounding atmosphere. And so to that, you need to reduce the airflow into and out of a given space. Oh, uh, like a kind of closed system. Of Yes. Mm. Um, obviously, this has to be managed to some extent because, um, you know, uh, we've got to manage it. Fresh oxygen to uh, to survive. Yes. But you know, in in the the time scales and uh, quantities that we are normally uh, using this technique in, um, it's completely manageable and safe, um, and can um, can enhance the effectiveness of said uh, medicinal uh, deliveries. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to write that I, down. That D6 deep. gets up to a D8 for that beautiful uh, <laughs> beautiful explanation. And on a related note, I once got hotbox in a field, which is really impressive. That's, is that like a, a, a thermocline or something? 
No. The meadows in Edinburgh, everyone's just smoking pot all the time. Oh. And there was <laughs> there was no wind that day, and the entire meadows were it, it was I was not there voluntarily. But oh, there actually there probably was a an artificial, there might have been a thermal, but not artificial, yeah. but a, na a natural um, yeah. sort of ceiling on that because yeah. often on hot days you get like difference yeah. in temperature in the air and you get a layer and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah, interesting day. Um, all right, yep. Yeah, you can you go up to one of your rooms, you seal it off best you can. Um, yeah. It's not pitch black, but it's relatively. Wait, dark. wait, wait, wait! I've just had a thought here. <laughs> So, if something is invisible... I'm not lying, I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> if something's invisible, is it technically touched by light? Um, let me check the wording for the, sp the invisibility spell. It's pretty vague. <laughs> exactly, that's why I want to refresh it in my memory. Um... Interesting. How does invisibility? Because this depends on your ruling of how the science work. works in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, is it like that kind of um, uh, adaptive camouflage thing where it projects what's behind it, or does it bend light around it, like the stuff that's actually being worked on at the moment? I would say it probably it probably bends light around it, so you would be able. Yeah, if you're invisible, you would not be lit, essentially. Does that mean if you're invisible, you can't see? Are these the rules we're playing by? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you because we should just clear that up. You know what? That's right that's now. a valid that's a valid <laughs> conundrum. Because um, if that owl flew away, and straight into a window. <laughs> <laughs> you see those like owl splats because owls have special powder in their feathers to uh, sort of soften their wing beats. So if they impact into a window, there's, there's like basically like Extra a dusty splat. owl print. Where's so I'm just imagining there's like that all over the city where it's just like, crashed into them and stuff. <laughs> Gee, we cannot find this invisible owl! Where might it be? <laughs> uh, Brennan Bren Lee Mulligan. Um, hmm? Brennan Bren Lee Mulligan, I think, addressed that in. Um, the Alexandria Calamity mm. game. Uh, I think his work around his approach was that all of you becomes invisible apart from as like the the fovea, the little kind of oh, uh, oh main part at the back of your retina. Yeah. And so because there was a character who spotted invisible people, people by spotting these two tiny little dots. Oh, I actually I quite like that. That's a decent. I'm happy to go with that explanation. So yes, the the light the bottle would become invisible uh, if you were holding it and would not be. It would be essentially in total darkness. Um, okay, so we've got several approaches to to this. Um, do we need to do all of them? Because this is invisibility is like a second level slot, right? Uh, you're willing to spend I mean, that? It's, it's an only level slot because warlocks. Wonderful. It's one of my two spells a day, or per well, yeah. Um, or have my single use dust of disappearance. Maybe let's save that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use a first level spell to create water in this bottle, in our okay. dark room. Yep. You do. Then are we freezing it or invisibling it or both? I think if. I think to to like optimally to do this optimally, so invisibility is works on a creature, so I would have to be holding it. Mm. And Nimbo does need to see to cast frostbite. So Can I, it... I freeze it, I pass it to you, you make it invisible, you put it in the box, we close the box, yeah. job done. Yes. Lovely. And then we just wait for it to melt. <laughs> We should pad the box. We don't want it to yeah. be like a like a, Eas a, a easily easily helmet. enough done. Yeah, we just you could steal... have done that done in the shop. Um, yeah, that's cool. that's good. We'll just steal the pillows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're such teenagers on the whole day. You really um, are. Cool. So I frostbite it. Can you make an Arcana check just to see how the frostbite goes off um, in an enclosed space? Guide me, Vias. 
Yes, you can have guidance. <laughs> uh, 16 plus 2 plus 1, so 19. 19, yeah. Um, you're, you managed to sort of hold back a little on the frostbite, because you're obviously, there's four of you in a not particularly large room, and it's a, the light's a bit low, so it's a little difficult for you to see, and the bottle's a small target, but you managed to cast it just on the bottle. Um, the, like, the floor around it, or, like, the, the air around it kind of crackles briefly, but beyond that, there's no damage to any of the furniture or to any of your friends. And uh, the we, water we, freezes we leave up. the cork off because, yes. you know, obviously, like Sam was saying, it expands when it freezes, yeah. so we don't want to... Yeah. But then we cork it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I invisible Easily it. enough done. Okay. And then I invisible myself and then invisibly stick it in the box. Okay. Lock the Close box. Close the box. Yeah. All right. Yeah, do you now have a box with a bottle filled with ice in it? Well done. Um, should we Are drop you staying this invisible? Off? I mean, I feel like there's some sort of mischief that I can get up to in the meantime, so obviously I, I will. <laughs> should we drop Do this off? Do you hand the box to someone else? Sorry, Phil. Yeah, I, I put the box down, on, back on the bed or whatever. And just so hey, I know where the box is. You've got track record with boxes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, should we drop this off before we lose it or break it or someone robs us of it or we get attacked by a multi-headed beast with fangs and tentacles i think that's awesome. yeah were you looking at my notes <laughs> <laughs> sweet so should we yeah should we swing by drop it off at the healer uh what were their what was their name again hern hern the healer drop it hern off by hern healer. and then should we head to sivron sounds good to me that's good yeah okay before um, we do that, just so I can get it in my head, where is the sorrow in relation to Siren? Um, so if you look on your map, oh, uh, yeah, on the well. above VTT, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, in this. It's uh, south of Siren. Um, is all of that the sorrow? Yeah, let me show you the continent map. Um, Should we show the audience? Yeah, we can show the audience. Mm -hmm. It is loading. I hope. There it is. Um, I still can't see it, though. I can see it on there. So the sorrow is the... Um, you, so Laura's kind of in the center. The entire forest of bits below it is the sorrow. It's a very large swamp. Um, And Siren is just like maybe two days travel, not even a day's travel above it. Okay, good to know. Just wanted Wait, to get what? my bearings. Just a yeah, quick yeah, check. No yes. We got mugged after we'd visited the chief healer. Yes, you did. Okay, I'm going to just pitch a thread out there. It was the gnome who betrayed us because his name is Tori. And he's a backstabbing little shit. <laughs> that seems. That is, I believe it. 100%. You're blaming. You're blaming yeah. the assistant, uh, the healer's assistant. Who we saw for um, thirty seconds, less than. <laughs> <laughs> Who the healer kept calling incompetent. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Hide behind that incompetence, though. You never see yeah. it is. And, well, maybe, and I would yeah. say the name's Tori. Obviously, they're evil. The name mm -hmm. is Tori, yes. Foreshadowing. <laughs> well, maybe uh, that's a good use of your invisibility. Maybe the three of us go and drop off this thing, Ooh. and you see how they react. That, that's, that's pretty good. If they're like... Okay. Just say I'm like, I don't know, hungover. Not as hungover, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're in their box. She's in her box. All right. Um, um, as we approach, I'll, uh, I'll get you some guidance just, in, just for any check you might need. Uh, as you approach, um, the guards recognize you from the day before. They let you in. And as you step through the gates, um, the invisibility drops. As you pass through an anti-magic zone. Oh, thank God that curse <laughs> was broken. <laughs> I thought I would be trapped like that forever. 
<laughs> well, no, we I have know. to meet myself. We know for the future. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if they have uh, uh, security measures uh, against <laughs> invisible people at the uh, big prison complex that we're entering. Does no, no I forgot the healer lived in the prison. It's a weird place for a healer to be. I had also forgotten that, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, earlier, yeah. when we were given the information over to the captain, all I had in my head was that we were given information to those community liaison officers. Like those ones in the blue bibs. Don't speak to the blue bibs. Yeah, that's exactly what that felt like. Um, so yeah, yeah well, pretty much. That that's her job. Um, you uh, get escorted back up to Healer Hearn's quarters again. Um, assistant is there. Um, seems to look just as unhappy to see you as the day before. Um, but, uh, ah, um, well, I have to say, you're, uh, wasn't expecting you back so soon. Can I tell um, if they're surprised that we are back at all? Uh, very. Uh, well, oh, back at all. Make an inside check. I'm gonna use my nerd dice. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be a 21. 21, okay. Um, <clears throat> the um, Chief Healer Hearn does look uh, very surprised to see you this quickly. Um, a little bit surprised to see you at all. Um, probably hand in hand with the fact you're back so soon. Um, and frankly, looks a little bit Looks a little put out. Um, Tori just looks as unpleasant as he did yesterday. Um. <laughs> so, uh, um, so it doesn't seem like either of them had... Okay, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, and uh, the Chief Healer Hearn's reasons for looking disappointed becomes apparent very quickly, uh, as he says to you. Um, well, does this mean that uh, with your return you've decided not... To find me my ingredients, I assume. No, oh. we we have got the first of the ingredients. Um, well, you will in about a couple hours. Yeah, give it a chance to melt. It's in this box. Me it was well. pure water, frozen in the dark, bottled in the dark, boxed in the dark, bottled invisibly in the dark. Hmm. The purest yeah. water, With... the purest absence of light. I don't know how you're going to use it because we have to go through some stuff to make it. I, I think what this shows is we are a very clever bunch. Mm. Well, you're certainly cleverer than Tori over there. I did ask him to make me some of this and he could manage it. That's uh, impressive. Not what I was expecting. Perhaps I underestimated you all slightly. We get yep. that. So yeah, if I'm still not convinced you're not going to die in the sorrow, though. We get that. It's also not a very nice thing to say, but fair. Yeah. Like you know, we are children. You are actually like negatively impacting our development. You know. Well, it's literally child abuse. Mm. So I mean, technically, two of us are, are adults, but yeah, them. You're abusing them. Yeah. These are these are our these are our. Our kids, our wards. these are children. We're there, we're in loco parentis here. Yeah, <laughs> that's dwarfish. <laughs> yeah, I think that canonically makes Caesar from the Caesar Cyber a dwarf. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, the salad. <laughs> now that famous <laughs> dwarfish salad. <laughs> <laughs> Healer Hearn's expression has gone from disappointed at seeing your you return, disappointed and surprised to impressed to what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing that a dwarven salad is literally just meat chunks in a bowl. Yes, yes. 
with a beard glaze dressing. Mm. Ooh, yeah, like a, a beer gravy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Or like a beer glazed tartar. Like, mm, sorry. <laughs> oh, we it need sounds a... like you're just like building a pie. We need a yeah. science and sorcery <laughs> cookbook now where we're making yeah. like oh. Robin's yeah. salads. So. Let me finish my thesis first, Sam. Damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, th I thought your thesis was the science and sorcery cookbook. Yeah, what have you been doing all this time? <laughs> <laughs> Staring at fish. Um, yeah, ready to cook. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, back in the game. I can't remember what the healer was going to say. He was um, like, what? Uh, he was saying that they were saying that they were not convinced that we were not going to die in the sorrow. Yeah, and yes. And then you went on a tangent about how there was child abuse, which <laughs> has now confused him massively. Well, if you're chosen by the, the High Priestess for this job, I assume that you're old enough to do it, no? Asura is a dangerous place. Be surprised at any time anyone comes back from there. I mean... Yeah. That's what they said about the dead mice in, but we were in and out like a mouse, a live mouse. <laughs> or a trout. <laughs> People underestimate us all the time. We just have to roll with the punches, honestly. That sounds so very sensible. you can underestimate us too. And we'll serve you up with the one-two punch of the ingredients, the last two ingredients you're looking for. So how does that sound? Take it or leave it? <laughs> no, that sounds very good. I do need uh, those ingredients. Well, Tori, I'd best be getting on. Thank you for bringing me this, uh, well, ice soon to be water so quickly and um may the gods be with you in that forsaken place I'm just, I'm, okay i'm just gonna i'm actually gonna roll with the idea that blurter thinks tori's like involved <laughs> <laughs> okay. what would you like to do about it <laughs> side eye and that one eye <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm just gonna be like oh it's tori i believe uh you left that note with your friends, right? Are, are you trying to intimidate or persuade here? I'm trying to like. <laughs> I would. I was aiming for deception, just like like we know it was him, even though we don't okay, know. Okay, yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah, make a deception check. Did the anti magic field get rid of the guidance? Uh, no, you just, you passed through it and it ended I the mean... spell, so you can, you can use Guidance now, but it's not, you, it, you like, people will know that you're... Okay, it's a bit bait. Okay, okay, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a 26 anyway, so... Okay, yeah. Woo! Um, Tori's face, like, he's grinding something with a mortar and pestle, and he just, like, is, like, a really gross scraping noise, hmm. and he looks up at you very warily. Ooh. How, how did you find out about that? I just sort of just wiggle my eyebrows at him. It's very warily. Don't tell the boss, okay? How much is it worth to you? Well, this horrible. So I didn't catch that. He has no money. No. They don't pay him very well. <laughs> <laughs> He's a PhD student. <laughs> Look, I've only been here for like a week. All right, please, like, you're gonna get me fired, all right? Okay, well. I think I think I'm convinced that he's not actually in fact for, for the, but it's like well, there's clearly a note he left somewhere, but whether it's the yeah. note you're referring to, you you well, have no way of knowing. Let's consider it you owe me a favor for not. Right, all right. You know what was a bad idea? She's just just get out of there, all right? I've got work to do. And I just just wink too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just weird because, yeah. 
<laughs> you only like, have one yeah. eye. <laughs> yeah, when Bletta winks, does she have to like really emphasize it with the head so it's like yeah. obvious? I mean, <laughs> the, That's what she's trying to do the, it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's because you're wearing the eye patch right now. Because if you're not wearing the eye patch, the wink would be much more obvious. Hmm. Um, yeah. It, it was obvious enough as a wink. Hmm. Tori kind of shudders and seems like, you've definitely ruined this guy's day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't oh. have been doing whatever it was he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Nimbo pulls out a little notepad as we walk out and just puts a big tick next to one of the <laughs> list. <items. laughs> nice. Amazing. Nimbo strikes me as like a, like a smiley face sticker kind of guy. We <laughs> need to get stars. gold stars for Nimbo. I, I, I think that's... <laughs> if, he, if he was... If there was like a, a cleric of uh, one of the other deities, you know, maybe... Ooh, like it, in you know, Idal or something, the you know the, the god of yeah. criminals and justice or something. Maybe that would be like that kind of level of organization. This is more just like want to have everything just, <laughs> just, just so doesn't have to be super regimented, but like you know, life uh, flows a lot at you, and it's important to acknowledge the the small victories. Like freezing a bottle of water, because <laughs> you you have a cognitive bias to record negative memories, and yeah. so to balance those out, you got to make a conscious effort to record lots of little positive memories. Whether yeah, that's freezing that a bottle of water, finding a pound on the street, catching your bus. Okay, so how about yeah. we now go blow up a revenant? Yeah. Well, you just need some revenant. blood. I will reiterate this, but okay. <laughs> um, you can have another D6, Khalil. Thank you. <laughs> you just, um, just like, all right. stack these all in one go for this right? Uh, no, they do not one. stack. I use my, I use yeah, my yeah. D8. Yeah. Oh, all right. On my we'll use, could use this D8. Um, yeah. Um, all right, so you're heading back to Surin. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Um, You'll, if you don't walk too slowly, you'll be able to get there by nightfall. Um, so you set out again on the same road that you traveled on um, earlier. And it is, there's occasional traffic. Um, you know, not a lot of people, but there's definitely people moving backwards and forwards between these two uh, places. Um, you don't encounter the wild magic zone again. Um, as you get to the point at which you fought those bandits, you can see the marks from the battle, because it's only been a day, but that strange, like, tugging sensation on your magic is gone. Well, that's you continue... Hmm. You continue to travel further down the road. Um, and it's funny you should have mentioned finding a coin, Nimbo, because you spot something glittering in the center of the road. Hold on a sec, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but, you know, in the spirit of our new cautious outlook, something shiny there. I am going to cast Detect Magic. Yeah. Oh, it lights up. And I only I um, can see that, right? And no one else. Yes, can, yeah, yes. Sure. And I th believe Detect Magic also tells you what type of magic it is. Uh, yep. Uh, it's Divination Magic. Hmm. Is this... Is it like somebody's like spying on this road or is it this coin can be used for spying could be both i mean it could be could be put here by someone who might be you know the, the, the person who's after us that hmm. would explain a lot do we, we go around to destroy it? I... I feel like we should go around it rather than like landmine it like, go, like, send anything towards destroying it. Just to keep things safe, 
Um, hold on a sec. <sighs> and uh, Nibbo's going to start like swirling his arms around, and and you, it's what's the weather like? It's a little bit overcast. Uh, so maybe you see like wisps of cloud kind of spiraling down, and they form a uh, twenty-foot radius sphere of fog. Um, okay. Around the divination object. All right. Um, so just, you know, just, uh, we don't know how far it can detect. Yeah, sensible. All right. Can you scooch around. Okay. Uh, yeah, you make your way around. Um, nothing happens as you do. You avoid it. And eventually, by nighttime, you manage to get to Siren um, without any further issue. Before going in, can I just like scan to see any people that I want to avoid? I make a perception check. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, yeah, you're keeping an eye out. Um, you spot um as you're entering town the youngest of the or one of the tiefling twins, uh, the the cook. Um, but that's the only person you actually recognize. Um, and this particular moment. Uh, where are you heading? To the guard lady whose name is... Well, what time Laura is it? Durst. It's, like, basically sunset. Well, I, I feel like we're not going to be welcome back in either of the taverns here. You'd been told you would be allowed back into the skill of loot just because you are... Uh, like members of Captain Durst's crew, essentially. But you, if you cause any more trouble, you won't be given a second chance. We break stuff. Yes. Should we be on our best behavior this evening? Yeah. No more breaking hearts, then, Nimbo. <laughs> I, I don't intend to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can make your way back to um, the Skill of Loot, or you can go and find uh, Captain Durst's office, if you want to. I mean, what a business hours. <laughs> <laughs> and does anybody need She a wasn't in the pub! Does anybody need a short rest for any reason? I mean, I could do with my visibility back, so... Mm. Do, we, do we want... I, I don't need one, but I don't mind taking one. Do we want to take I'm a good. short rest in the tavern just to let that invisibility back? I'll get a slot back as well. So Yeah, that's fine with yeah. me. Sure. Right. I'll um Yeah. Watch chill. They're learning. They're learning. <laughs> Are we though? <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> um Yeah, you um oh, once you I, enter the I will I will yes. disguise myself. Okay. Cause well cause I, I I don't know if the dad's going to be cool with me. Uh, I thought it was going to be an awkward second date. I thought it was going to be like the same, thing. but with like a fancy well, mustache. It's partly, yeah, it's, it's a bit of both, really, because Nimbo is not uh, not a, a particularly experienced man in the ways of the world. So, um, you know, he's a bit nervous, so he's going to disguise himself. Um, but because he's nervous... He's going to disguise himself as a different Furbolg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like one of Nimbo's cousins, or um, like how different yes. to Nimbo? Sammy, Bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> she disguises a moustache on his face. <laughs> Sorry, this is not. This is going to be the non-silly campaign. <laughs> we haven't succeeded in that yet. Um, yeah, Nimbo, Nimbo will disguise self a moustache on his face. Maybe, maybe, maybe like a full stubble, like a, a long, a long stubble. Okay. So essentially, just like Nimbo, but like add five years. Yeah, he's, I'm not saying he's good at this. <laughs> no, okay. No, nope, just so I know what's what's gonna happen um, as not you enter. Not a naturally deceptive guy. No, he's not. <laughs> you enter the inn and um julep is behind the bar um it's relatively lively you don't see the mayor yet um and uh God, what's his name 
Um, uh, Aza is out, like, serving some tables. Uh, Julep looks up as you walk in and goes, Oh, hey, you're back! Um... Oh, so I, I... I go over to the bar and go, I, so I thought this was... I thought I was in disguise. I, I wanted to... <laughs> yes. Wanted... Yes, you are. I've never met you before. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's me, Nimbo. Um... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, how, I got that. Um, God, how, my dad's gonna be happy you're already back. Uh, and by happy, I mean not happy, but... Yeah, hence, hence the disguise. Um, how, how are you doing? How's... You know. Same We're old. just... I'm, you know, we haven't come here to bug you. We're just, you know, chill here for a bit, and then we've got a couple of errands to do on the way down to the Sorrow. You know, oh. just on, on a mission. I know, right. dangerous. Yeah. I'm just thinking about this contextually, is like even if it was the most amazing disguise in the world, you are still walking around with a bald girl with an eye patch and a snow leopard. Which <laughs> 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 Yeah, it would have been um yeah. Mm -hmm. There might have been a deception check involved if the disguise had been better though, but this is We should all come in with mustaches. <laughs> Nembo just heals it in his head. You're doing really well. Cheers. I don't say that. I don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So just stopping by. Guessing you want rooms. I look over at the others. <laughs> yes, please. How many would you like? Just one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did we say about best behavior, guys? <laughs> I mean, we haven't actually done anything. <laughs> Does Mock have any of those incense sticks left? No, we burned it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are, there, are there double it's rooms a, or? or no. It... Well, yes, sort of. Uh, but there, are, it's a gold per room. Oh, okay. We can do that. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So is that three then? Uh, I'll, I'll take a room. Oh, cool. Four. Three rooms. All right. Four rooms. Four rooms. Four rooms. Four rooms. Of course. Uh, yep. Yeah, four gold, please, and anything to drink, eat. Yeah. Well, do you oh. have milkshakes? <laughs> Aza, do we do we ever persuade Horn to make milkshakes? No. No. Oh well, that's maybe in somewhere else I will finally find milkshakes. Uh, Alex, I think, I think, I think you're thinking of a different game on science and sorcery. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it hadn't even occurred to me that. Uh, <laughs> All drinks are milkshakes over in the lactose world. <laughs> I wasn't even moving thinking about on. that one. <laughs> Rapidly moving <laughs> on. Incredibly rapidly moving on. <laughs> So yeah, foods, drinks, rooms, chill. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I, I feel like, you know, what's the word? Like malicious compliance. Like, I kind of want to get a meal here, but we'll be just like super like good day, sir. How? <laughs> if the mayor of this just <laughs> <laughs> bowing deeply. Yeah. Yes. I'm down for that. Yeah. All right, so, um, food, vegetarian or meat? Vegetarian. Chef special food. today. Veggie, meat, please. Meat. meat for me, please. Meat. I'll go with whatever's good. Meat, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the vegetarian food, M, once it gets brought out, is also nice. Um, the meat smells way better. Uh, all right, you managed to get in a short rest. Um, it's relatively busy. The uh, tieflings don't really have much time to stop and chat at the moment. Uh, Mayor still hasn't showed up by the time you finish your short rest. Hmm. Cool. It's early evening at this point. Um, what, what's your plan? Shall we go and find 
Captain yeah. Durst. When you said when you say early evening, it was, it was like five six ish or a bit later than that. Like six thirty seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. here no. we go. Super fun. Um, yeah, it's easy enough to ask uh, one of the tieflings for directions. The um, Crest Guard headquarters is sort of around the corner, um, so it's not very far, and you get to a modest building. Um, it, it mainly it just looks like it might, it's probably someone's home, um, but the front of the the building as you uh, enter through the open front door is clearly set up like an office space. Um, there's a little waiting area, um, and you can see through an open interior door uh, a large desk piled with paperwork and all manner of things. A random axe lying on top of some of the paperwork to keep it from blowing off the table. Um, and uh, Captain Durst is sat behind the table staring down at something on her desk. Um, doesn't look up as you enter. Can I see what it is? You'll need to get a lot closer. Hello? Oh, maybe we can try and sneak up on her. Sorry, I just tossed my notes all over the room. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Anyone stealthy? <laughs> no. Um, disadvantage and plus one. I, mean, I, I have plus two, but like... I'm very stealthy. Ooh. Do you fancy it? Fancy a little sneak sneak? Well, it's just one of those days where, yeah, I feel like I do. <laughs> Go I ahead love, and make... I love how we were going to be on best behavior. Peer <laughs> pressure. In the bar. Peer pressure. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. That is a 24. Uh, yeah, you managed to get into the room and standing essentially, where are you just walking straight in or are you gonna like go, try to go around the desk or something? I'm yeah, I'm gonna go around the desk, like look in a shoulder thing that like a <laughs> snow leopard or cats would do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, you managed to essentially, you're standing behind Captain Durst. Um, you're able to read over her shoulder. Um, it's a report of a dispute between a couple of farmers. Um, and she's written stuff down, scratched it back out, written it, something down again, is scratching that out now, uh, clearly trying to come up with some kind of resolution and not managing to come up with something. Um, she still hasn't noticed you. What is the what is everyone else doing currently? Waiting outside. You're all outside the room. You're. I mean, the doors are open, so mm. you can watch this all happen. But I will try to just kind of step back, and we'll just go in as a group. I don't. I don't want to do it alone. Okay. You're gonna have to make another stealth check okay. to try to get out. Uh, <laughs> a twenty-three. Yep. Uh, wow. Okay. Yep. She managed to walk all the way back out of the room. Um, Apex Predator. And Captain Durst still hasn't looked up. She's like muttering to herself in Orcish. Um, so you can't understand, but clearly just wrapped up in her work. Can I understand? <laughs> You'd have to be a lot closer. All right, now there. We won't go through this yeah. again. I'm ready to. I'll just not. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, welcome back. Come in. Wasn't expected to see you again so soon. How's the uh, God-given mission? Well, we are actually on the next phase of that, and that is why we have come to see you. Oh, well, that's great to hear. Um, how can I help? So, uh, we hear down the grapevine that you might have, like... Some spooky corpse man walking around the outside of town. Uh, and we want to find this spooky corpse man if it exists. Okay, when you're saying spooky corpse man, you're gonna have to be more specific. You have more than one? <laughs> Not generally, but... <laughs> uh, we're looking for a... Like a specific one? A revenant, okay. Uh, yeah, I had a report about a... God was it um 
about a f- fortnight ago, someone said they saw a Revenant wandering around. Um, took uh, some of the crew out, didn't find anything. I'm pretty sure it's just kids making stuff up, but... Uh, what was it wh- kids who reported it then? Yeah. Which kids? <laughs> <laughs> Mugs like cracking her knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk. Um, there are uh, some of the kids who live um around the uh, the shop square, um, along the high road, uh, in the north of town, not not the south. Um, I mean, you know, we went, we had a look, but I can't see anything wrong. Did they, like, call it a revenant, or did they just, like, describe something that would be a revenant? The second one. Okay. So what, what, what are those descriptors? What are we looking for? (laughs) Basically, they said it was... A person who didn't seem entirely alive. And it was the eyes. The eyes were just filled with this determination, is what they said. Like a fire inside of them that nothing could stop it. Which sounds like what I've read about Revenants, so I assume that's what it was, but... Okay. And was it like doing anything particular or just like ambling around confusedly? Stalking. Do we have a, you know, race on it or anything? Uh, human, human man, uh, uh, pale skin, um, about my height, so you know, similar to uh, to you, points of muck. Um, wearing quite ordinary, kind of grimy clothes. Um, I mean, frankly, it just sounded like a lost traveler, maybe, maybe a burglar or something, you know? They can be quite determined, they can, yeah. And, you know, I've kept an eye out. I uh, haven't seen anyone who matches this guy's description, so... Mm. Even well, if it guess... was a revenant, they're gone now. Maybe we should have a word with these kids, see if they can... Yeah, you yeah. could do that. Um, there's uh, a couple of the uh, the Lothal children um, who might be uh, worth asking. Mm. And just in case this isn't our guy, any notes of any brutal, unjust murders recently. Uh, Just ask. <laughs> Gotta ask. No murders. I got a couple of disappearances, though. Yeah. Oh, maybe murders, you know, you never know. Um, Who's been going missing? There's uh, Anton, used to work at the bakery, went missing about four months ago. And uh, Mr. Polaris, though, he's been missing for years, and just every few years someone thinks they've, they've seen him, and it was uh, Mr. Polaris. Or oh, it's oh, Madame he... Polaris' husband. Mm. Ah. Oh. Sure. I think the poor sod just took off, but hey. Okay, None but of my no business. One... So, this Anton guy. Yep. Like, where was he last seen? Uh, at work, I think. The Better Bakery. The Better Bakery? Yep. Is that just the name of the bakery? Competition went out of business. Mm <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but I like the idea that the other one was like the adequate bakery. <laughs> Might have been. Or just the bakery. There was a there yeah. used to be a, a place in Glasgow that was just called Decent Sweets. <laughs> Decent. Yeah. Oh. You knew what you're getting. So, yeah. How is it there? Oh, it's fine. So Anton and Polaris. Yeah. Mr. Polaris. And who were the kids? The... Um, the kids were the Lothhold children. Lothhold. Um, yeah. 
Well, where you'll find we? uh, the better bakery and uh, Lawfold and Daughter's Butchery in Shop Square. It'll be closed now, but be open in the morning. And, right. and um, could you give us directions to like where it was seen? Sure, I mean, not not far from the shop square. Um, if you walk out the square, between the big gap in the houses, and just keep walking into the field, um, it's maybe about a hundred yards out. Okay, so just to throw it out there, like, is there any chance the revenant could be Anton? Or indeed, wouldn't take Anton for someone who would die a horrible death, but. Maybe someone just well, already hates Actually, him. maybe. He is a bit of a player, so I don't know. Oh. So... Maybe someone got real angry or something. I oh. don't know. I'll just, oh, gonna, Mr. I'll just gonna like side eye over a nimble. Do right. <laughs> 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 you still have the mustache on? <laughs> <laughs> no, disguise self only lasts an hour, I think, so okay. it, Yeah, it would have it would have it came up partway through rest. our front, partway through our dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so, remind me, a revenant is made by, uh, made when someone dies a particularly horrible death, or particularly unjust death, or particularly what death? So, from M Muck's recollection, uh, last time is both unjust and horrible, essentially. Um, their only goal in Undeath is to find the person who wronged them, um, and to t enact their revenge. They have a year to complete in which to get revenge, um, and then they die. If a revenant is killed, it will inhabit a freshly deceased corpse, uh, and rise again and continue in its quest for How long has Mr. Polaris been gone? That was oh, what years. I was just... <laughs> Okay. He's been gone for years, apparently. People claim every few years that they've seen him. Um, uh, Anton's been missing for four months. Does Mr. Polaris have notably big feet? Honestly, you'd have to ask his widow, wife, I don't know. I, I don't think that's a question we should be going and asking a random widow. <laughs> yeah, I don't follow. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, also don't know what Alex is getting no, at. I, I don't know if I that's was, an X-Men reference. Or no, no, I, reference. I was guessing that he, that, that he was like Bigfoot. Then was occasionally... <laughs> 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 well, he is now. So yeah. <laughs> been, she was just married to him like a Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah. Over the break, Dark Mars, you're just going to rewrite everything now. Like, uh... <laughs> like, yeah. Mr. Polaris is a Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, anything else you want to ask, Captain Durst? Nope. Right. Not that I can think of. Can that case. Oh, um... any any tips for dealing with Listen. the the frog? Oh, bullywugs. Bullywugs, yeah. Bullywugs. Um, oh, oh you... we forgot to commission those statues. Oh, right. <laughs> if you need a like a smith for something, I mean, we've got one too. Well, oh. we had heard that Bullywugs, they, you know, they like. No, no. Pardon? No, no, no. I was just talking to myself. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that on, on stream. <laughs> With a microphone. So don't worry about it. Um, honestly, one of you probably took better notes than me about what body works like. It's something like uh, adulation and shiny things. Mm, they were mm. self congratulatory. What? Mm. Yes. Okay. They're very full of themselves. What if we. That's cheaper than getting a statue is we get like uh, one of those, like, is it cakes? Of the body <laughs> 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 Wait, hold on. Do Bollywoods consider themselves like frog people, or is that like a no no? Uh, no, they would. Why don't uh, they, we? Bring they them? they live. They they're like frog people, as in like because they're also people, they're better than frogs. Um, because they because essentially they're also frogs, use... they're better than people. Yes, yeah, pretty much. So, um, they live could... together. So, what's Captain Durst can tell you? Um, 
they are very mean. Um, they... She seems to be of the opinion that if they didn't need to essentially live in the swamp for um, the fact that like they can't really survive in other environments, they would easily go to war with everyone around them. Um, they're like very imperialistic, um, mm -hmm. which is part of why going into the Sorrow is so dangerous, because they consider anyone else who enters it to be on their land and must follow their laws. Okay, I was going to um, suggest bringing them some toad in the hole, but maybe that won't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they live together with giant frogs and toads, um, and essentially, like, command them into battle, like, ride them into battle. Um, they don't have any particular weaknesses, um, or, uh, any, like, massive strengths. They tend to be quite sneaky, um, and they don't tend to speak common. Uh-oh. So the plan okay. is to, first of all, find Anton, find out what happened, then go to Better Bakery and get a cake made for the Bullywugs. And on that note, <laughs> as the players plot, we're going to take a 10 minute break <laughs> and come back to them commissioning a cake off my NPCs. Uh, see y'all at uh, 2050, 10 to the hour. Ooh. Yeah. Oh dear, um, I'm sorry to tell you this, Katanga, but I'm afraid that uh, this misery high bluff you keep talking about has just been a figment of your imagination. Can Katanga make a, an insight check? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do you want me to roll deception? Uh, no point, because that was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, well, it, if I notice this mid smooch, can I flick my tongue out for a quick taste? <laughs> sure. Um, make a light of hand check, I guess. <laughs> what is with your characters and tasting things? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it under it's helpful. Man, we talked about these, the, the like these body image issues, and like, you can't be comparing yourself to like like, refreshing beverage cunt of all people. <laughs> Most of the fleas, because I assume Dream isn't actually being all that careful. No. So a lot of the fleas do manage to, like, jump ship. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what happens if you pour bleach on a flea. They might be fine. You might disintegrate, I don't know. Yeah. Google it. What, what happens happen? when you bleach a flea? <laughs> Live Psycom coming straight at you. <laughs> Look, Psycom's just being okay. So that name. So when the sex muskets sing, "God save the queen," they yeah. actually, literally, yeah, they, they, it's, it's yeah. they're quite yeah. <laughs> yeah. A fascist regime, which we approve of. <laughs> <laughs> the, I called uh... out with with my own deep throaty alarm call as well. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Oh, uh, we're just taking a shortcut. You know, just traffic. We're, we're fumigating for sewer clowns here. You can't be here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I've, been called, <laughs> I've been called worse, but you better shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the real sewer clown is Elon Musk and his tunnels, so... <laughs> Kick me off Twitter, Elon, I dare you. <laughs> so, Spoonslang will disguise himself as Reginar and be Big Spoon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> so, so we, we cut to a scene where this um, UMT, this snake person is spooning a pudding angel. No, no. Uh, Snake person disguised as a halfling. Yes. <laughs> oh. You're even bigger a spoon than I remember. Yeah, I just, um, you know, I just have that energy. 
delightful. Angel delightful. <laughs> and then we fade to oh, black. Oh, is that your full name? <laughs> <laughs> fade to black of spooning. Uh, <laughs> Oh. I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> so you see uh, in the room uh, Eridark Ariesis, who is a pallid elf fighter gunslinger. Do I have guns? Do I fuck? Um, <laughs> what you see...
and we're back um nicely on time all right so you have just uh left captain durth's office left her to her paperwork um she goes back muck you can hear it now as you're leaving um she's muttering about idiot farmers and her idiot land disputes um right. so <laughs> yeah just like bureaucracy stuff yeah um where do you want to go up to the shop do we want to go kids first or bakery first well it's it's night time so <laughs> okay, you... it's like <laughs> seven oh, seven thirty <laughs> yeah. um is um madame um polaris playing cards is um she she's playing she in the in the skill of loot she was inside when you were there earlier she was um she wasn't playing dice this time uh, she okay. was listening. If the same musician's still there, she seemed to have just been listening to the music. It seemed as though, like, Mr. Polaris is not is not the person yeah. that's been several years. Mm. And then unless only around for a year, unless he, unless he, he was he was he ran away and then he came back and then got murdered within the last year when he tried to come back and like, oh yeah, I, I just missed you, baby, and then. <laughs> And then she's like, no, fuck off, I'll kill you then. That's an interesting, maybe. interesting thought. Maybe, maybe we'll chill out tonight and then if we don't get anywhere with this Anton stuff, I think we can know where we're going to find Madame Polaris and maybe, you know, check in with her later. Yeah, let's have a quiet one. You know, best behaviour and all that. So but but uh, I don't doubt that you're right and she's a murderer. I mean, like, she seems like she's a murderer in, like, a cool way, though, so... Yeah, go power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, you head back to the Skill of Loot. Um, the mayor is there now. Um, he gives you, like, a dirty look, and then sort of sniffs and raises his chin and goes back to his conversation. I hate that. <laughs> uh nimbo is probably uh like occasionally stealing glances uh towards julep but like not really sure how to handle this situation because he's never been in this situation before she's pretty busy um it looks like it's a, it's a busier night than it was last time you were here he's not so... gonna bother her no she barely, like, she occasionally, like, glances your way and, like, will smile, but she's, she doesn't have time to, to stop and chat right now. Uh, her siblings as well, or they're all, like, running around constantly. The mayor's not helping. Cool, so are we just having a quiet one? A couple of drinks, go to bed? Yes. Or are we doing any shenanigans? Yeah. As well-behaved members of society, we would like a <laughs> beverage. <laughs> yes. I uh, I disguise self my moustache on the good. <laughs> um, yes. When she sees that, Tulip does like laugh slightly, um, <laughs> and when her uh, siblings see that, they both waggle their eyebrows at you. <laughs> uh, I blush. Um, all right, shall we say for the sake of ease? Do you just want to mark off a gold each for drinks for the night? Yeah, and we'll we'll pick up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Sounds good um, to me. Blurt, are you sleeping in your room or in your box? Uh, in my room. In your room. Cool. Um, or in your box in your room. Like, that is also allowed. <laughs> in your box, in your bag, under your bed, in your room. <laughs> in a second box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you freeze like... it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you're sleeping in your, in your bed? Um... All right, you wake up following morning. Um, the inn is much quieter at breakfast time. Can I check? Do Do you need me to roll a d20 for my eating? Because I have expected um, charges. No, only if it goes down to zero. Only if it's down to zero. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are secret things you don't know about. Hmm. Um, okay. But it will regain 1d4 plus 1 charges every morning. So. Okay. Because you used one yesterday, so you'll get that one back at least. Okay, so like, what what's our tactic with these kids gonna be? Are we gonna like? Well, I I, I had I had in my morning meditations. I um, 
I kind of I aligned my abilities with trying to smooth over social situations. Um, so if we need to, I can calm down a heated situation, you know, calm some emotions. Uh, I can enhance one of our abilities, maybe make one of us a better conversationalist. Um, I can create a zone where people have to tell the truth. So if any of those are useful, oh, I can create a, a bubble of silence. So if any of those are useful, you know, they're there. We don't have to use them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking we pretend that we're like revenant hunters and that it's like super serious and cool. And it's like, that's how I lost this eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I could, I could, I could uh, make a scar appear over, over, over a face or something or, yeah. or some kind of gnarly tattoos. No, nope, that, that, that could be pretty cool. Uh, DM question, just before we move on. Um, overnight, could M have spent a bit of time like describing one of those spells? Yeah, absolutely. Can you remind yeah. me what they were? Because my notes are not with me right now. <laughs> um, they are Vortex Warp. Yep. Unseen Servant. And where is it? Uh, Fog Cloud. Okay, I'm going to go for Vortex Warp. So I'll be... Yep. That you get to add that one to your uh yeah deducts uh oh no, you'd already deducted the the gold i think so yeah just the materials uh yeah you have that in your inventory like a spell inventory now what's the plan where are you heading i like blurter's idea of um of posing as uh hardcore undead hunters and impressing these kids I have an anecdote then because I genuinely used to do that as when I worked for an ecological consultancy because we'd be what? <laughs> <laughs> you literally, it's, yeah. it's, it's fine um, so I used allegedly to what happened so allegedly <laughs> I used to work for a company where I would help out uh, doing bat surveys which you have to do at dawn and dusk um, and we often would end up in places that locals thought were haunted. Uh, there was a disused timber factory, uh, which was filled with uh, dead rats and dolls. Um, sorry, doll heads specifically. The rest of the dolls weren't there. There was a former asylum uh, that had owls living inside of it. Um, wow. And there was, there was an old collapsed building inside a little cul-de-sac. And that one... The place I happened to be standing, I was basically like in a bush, so I was quite hidden. And you know, there were like five or six other people all around, but there were local youths running around. Um, and because we're standing there with our earpieces in and our bat detectors, which pick up the echolocation, they <laughs> thought we were ghost busting, <laughs> which is always what people thought. Um, and we, this time, all of us over the walkie talkies were like, guys we're just gonna we're gonna tell these kids we're ghost busting um and i managed to persuade because the kids wanted to get in on it and one of them started running towards this building and it was a death trap like the second oh, you step in there the roof's gonna collapse in on you so i yelled out from my bush where they hadn't seen me yet no no you can't you don't have the right amulets <laughs> <laughs> persuade like five or six like preteen boys that ghost hunting is a genuine career path <laughs> <laughs> and they all ran home to tell their parents and they stayed out of the dangerous building because they didn't have the right amulets um uh, d8 right there yeah. <laughs> are you saying that ghost hunting is not a legitimate career path yeah it can be are you saying that daytime tv lied to me yeah, Dera Kakora, what was that one? I genuinely have favorite <laughs> ghost hunters, okay? Like, I believe this is definitely is it, a real thing. One of them, you. No. no. So, where was I this? I don't... Uh, in Fife, somewhere. Wow. Okay, so now we're definitely yeah. doing this plan. Yeah, uh, yeah, fuck it. Now we it's, know it's it. I, I genuinely oh, have done this plan, so I need you it, to do it for exactly. my Exactly, it, it's proven that it works. As a science, <laughs> as a science stream, we've, we've got evidence that we need to repeat. 
Yes, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, um, as, as, I think as we, we need, like, cool ghost hunter names. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, like, like what? Well, what's a cool ghost hunter name? I've never met a ghost hunter. I... Hmm. I think you you could be like Thunderstorm or something. Sure, yeah. Thunderstorm, the ghost hunter. <laughs> mm. And uh, I, I, I use Thaumaturgy to make thunder kind of yeah. roll in the background. <laughs> it looks badass. Um, oh, it sounds badass. And that too. I can be Ghost Eye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ghost Eye. Yeah. And... I would like to be Patrick Burns, who is a real ghost hunter. <laughs> I mean, I was going to suggest Hello Kitty for you, but that's... <laughs> that, that, I mean, is... Is that... It's offensive. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I didn't want to ask. <laughs> So we've got uh, Patrick Burns, Ghost Eye, Thunderstorm, and mm, Play Geller. Play Geller. Mm. Strong. Jesus <laughs> okay. Wait, um, is there like a plague in recent history that makes this inappropriate? <laughs> <laughs> is it too soon? <laughs> We will get people who we will get people who've like been hit by the Black Death that we'll be writing in. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we back? <laughs> make a history check, Mark. <laughs> Mark, make a history check for me, please. Was that comment too much? Rachel was just frozen and gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, twenty-one. That would be fourteen. Um, nothing in this. Uh, nothing in your country. Um, you think maybe one of the neighboring kingdoms had a plague, like, you know, within the past, like, couple of generations, but nothing. You know what? I'll just go for Bones. Bones, that would be my name. Oh, Bones. That's so pretty sick. All right. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> having <laughs> come up with your, your ghost, your revenant hunter I'm so names. glad these entirely necessary pseudonyms. <laughs> are going to be all remembered perfectly by all of us. Yeah. I don't the chat, remember anybody. The chat will remind you. <laughs> I'll write it in my notes, then it's oh, forever. Oh, yes, yeah, please do, because I want to use them in the uh, the episode summary. <laughs> <laughs> um, you uh, eventually make your way to the shop square where... Uh, you've been here before, There's a, there's a few... This is where most of the businesses are located. Um, where's my notes? Uh, there's the Better Bakery, um, Lothalb and Daughter's Butchery, Blacksmith, the General Store, and a Barber slash Tailor. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Bone Breaker. Ooh. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you're, you're workshopping names as you walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you can also see, although they call this the shop square, um, there is one entire side of the square that just leads directly into open fields. Um, so it's it's more like a box without a lid than a proper square. Mm -hmm. And you do also see uh, next to the fountain there are some children loitering. Okay, okay, we've got to play this cool. Okay, I I am um, <laughs> I disguise self to have like a couple of like facial tats of like lightning and like <laughs> like clouds and stuff and a couple of scars that cut across the tattoos you should well. have like a handlebar mustache and a handlebar mustache <laughs> hey and you do it looks a bit <laughs> ridiculous um but yep they're there <laughs> okay so, right. so who's who's good at talking? Um, I'm very good at lying. Talking. I'm extremely good at lying. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna tap you on the back and then give you guidance and say yeah. Have you, maybe you take the lead on this one then. Okay. So, um, so like you you guys just like walk behind me and look like mm. like menacing and shit. I can yeah I, yeah. So just sort of like sidle over and just like Hey kids, we're looking for the the fault children. You them Two of them uh look up at each other, um two human boys and just... that that's us? We haven't done anything. I just spit on the ground and just like <laughs> We hear you've seen a revenant. Uh yeah, it was it was really cool. Hmm. Can you tell Do us? Do you wanna see it? Yeah. Yes, we are revenant hunters. And we track down <gasps> things. Awesome. Uh, the I, children I strike, start I crowding <laughs> around <laughs> you. There's like, like <laughs> six children, like aged below ten, who have now crowded around you, and they're all going, <laughs> "Oh my god! Like, how did you become a revenant hunter? That's so cool! No one believed us before. Oh my goodness! Are when you gonna kill it? Age. How are you gonna kill it? Oh my god! Can I see your weapons?" And just hurling questions. <laughs> yeah, at it's you. like when I was your age, one took my eye and I swore vengeance on all the revenants. That's so. Make a deception check. Um, that will be with a d4. With a d4. Sorry, my math is bad. So that is whatever. Twelve plus nine is. <laughs> I can't. Add. Twenty-one. 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 Yeah. 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 Um, the kids are like starstruck. Um, yeah, they're super impressed with you right now. Yeah. Tell, tell them I think you'll need to show them. us where you saw this thing. In the field. Over there. We saw it again. Yesterday. Hmm. But like, a different one. A different one. My mom know? says I shouldn't lie. But I'm not lying, I swear. Can I roll insight? <laughs> Go for it. Do I think they're lying? <laughs> uh... Oh god, those are bad rolls. 15. Um... The kid seems convinced that what he saw was a revenant. The other kids are like nodding around him. His brother, especially, is like, "No, we definitely saw Revan." Um, they are at least convinced that that's what they've seen. Okay, can you take us there? Maybe we can deputize you if you show us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like giggling with glee um, as he starts. Like, he reaches out to grab your hand and then decides, like, not to and then just, like, like beckons you to follow. <laughs> I follow, but, like, in the most, like, swaggery way I can. So. <laughs> Make a performance <laughs> check. Um, 20 performance. Um, I'm gonna add my d6 to that, just because that wasn't great. 15. 15, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Um, you can see the 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 um the girl from the general store, the really bored one you bought some stuff from earlier, yeah. is standing like leaning against the door and just looking at you like, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you all following? There's an yeah. entourage mm -hmm. of children escorts <laughs> you out into the field. <laughs> They're all still like each of each of you essentially has like two or two children like darting between you yell like yelling about this ghostly visage they've seen stalking the town like first a couple of weeks ago and then again last night um and the stories are all jumbled together it's hard to tell who they originated from what might be real and what might be made up one guy saying the revenant had seven legs um 
you know, but it's like, it's little kids. But they lead you to um, the edge of a field, uh, some hedgerows, and the it definitely doesn't quite look as neat as the rest of the fields over here. Um, the boy who's been doing most of the talking says, So, we weren't meant to be outside last night after dark, but... We were, and we saw it here. It was, it was right there, and it was a different one, I swear it. How was it different? It was just a different guy. What did the guy look like? Um, I mean, like a, like a revenant, you know? Like, we didn't want to get too close, because, because, because we didn't have any weapons. Which way was he going? Towards the town, but we ran away. And is it always in the same place that you see that? No, the previous time was a bit further up the road still, but we're really not meant to go that far out of town. Hmm. Right, team. Does any of us have do? survival that's any good? Yeah, I was I was gonna say at that point I would probably be looking around to see yeah. any mm -hmm. remnants or revenants. Okay, go ahead and make uh, either a survival check or an investigation check. Uh, any relevant re relevant revenant remnants. <laughs> oh actually I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one thing first and just take a sniff in the air. And uh okay. To detect Fae Fiend undead. Let me double check the writing of that. Um, um, where is it? Why can I not find this? Um, yeah, you. There isn't anything nearby that's giving off any like traces of any of those things um uh, nothing alive enough to do that at least hmm. if that makes sense nothing alive enough to tell if i found undead as in like <laughs> there's di like there's no undead which are currently extant as undead okay you would if, if an undead is killed you wouldn't be able to detect it okay cool in uh, that sense well i was telling my computer to check then uh, which is a 15. Yeah. Um, and because you are trying to track um, or recall information about Undead, you do have advantage. Ooh. Nah, 15. 15. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it takes a little while of um, searching, and you do have to go a little bit further out from where the children said they saw the Revenant. Um, but the first thing you notice is there are definitely tracks of someone walking um and they're walking not towards the town exactly but kind of like at an angle towards like the southern part of time rather than just straight in um as you continue to follow the trail the children following behind you um you come to a dip in the ground a sort of natural rut between two fields um, and you spot uh, a corpse lying <gasps> in this, um, like, divot. I turn to the kids and I'm like, now it's time you head home. So the movie stand by me. Make oh. a persuasion check. Persuasion. Um, can I, but I was also going to say, like, but I'll deputize you and you gotta let us know if the revenants got into town. Make a persuasion check. Yes, that's <laughs> um twelve. <laughs> they're too excited. They're like they're running up towards M um and like try like trying to get closer to the body. Oh my god, is that the I'm, revenant? I'm gonna turn Did around already... and bear my teeth yeah. at them is like you heard what they said. Fuck off. Intimidation check. Uh, can I help with using th thaumaturgy to, to make it kind of the ground rumble slightly when they uh, growl? Um, 
Sure. Rolled advantage, then. Okay, so the first one was a 22. Wait. Uh, 13. So, yeah, 22. 13. 22, yeah. Um, as you growl at the children, they sort of stop. Uh, oh, okay, well, we'll... We'll start heading, heading back. All right. Just trying to help. Remember the mm. first rule of Revenant Hunter Club. Is that you can't tell adults about the Revenant Hunter Club. <laughs> it's a <laughs> secret. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> we're we're grooming these children. Slippery slope. No, yeah. down that <laughs> it's more that, so that the parents aren't asking questions about the adults who led them off into the field. Well, we told them to fuck yeah, off. That, that's exactly what kids. that is for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, we didn't endanger your children. That never happened. That, that's back rapidly, that's like, rapidly yeah. moving yeah. along. I will, yeah. use my, uh, I, children... I will use my chrono shift to just stop <laughs> that <conversation. laughs> <laughs> um, you um begin uh the children begin to make their way uh back to town um, um they're like glancing back they're not going quickly but they're not interfering anymore um okay i'm i'm in front of this body uh yep I, before approaching it i just want to check to see if there's any immediate signs of danger for us okay perception check yeah uh 12. can't see anything what do you think uh can i maybe have a have a look at the but well you know we're doing cautious now did you I'm want to redo your everyone. undead check I think I think I've done enough enough perception. So whatever whatever Nimble wants to do. I was going to go and um, in, in, investigate the body. Mm -hmm. Use my mm -hmm. kind of my medical knowledge. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, you can make a medicine check if you want to. Via Skype. <laughs> I love that like guidance every time like that. Yeah. Great. Best favorite country. That is going to be. 25. 25. 17 um, on the yeah, dive, 4 on the... The, the body's lying uh, on its front. Um, you roll it over, and you... Um, it's a, a slightly older, like maybe 40s-ish uh, human man. Um, looks like he's had a pretty rough life. Um, not in the best health. Um... There are multiple stab wounds um, in the torso and um, uh, the unarmored um, arms and lightning scars running all the way down their body. And as you're looking at this person, Nimbo, you realize that you undress them on your way to the citadel. This is one of the bandits Blurta killed. So did they come looking for us? But Blurta's not a stabber, right? Unless... The, yeah. How'd you kill them? How'd you... Li you lightning them, right? Yeah, I lightning them. And the, and so... the stab wounds are fresh. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But the twenty-five, those stab wounds were, you know, at this point there may be like eight hours or so. Did they bleed from oh. those stab wounds? No. Okay. So something raised them. Or oh, the other revenant. Said... Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. You go. Some uh, something raised them, or they came back somehow. Mhm. Mm and then went towards where we were traveling from rather than towards why would they why would they head for here maybe they're dumb <laughs> so uh, a Lurta... sorry 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 no uh you make an make an arcana check Lurta. Uh, uh yeah five uh okay yeah no probably just dumb muck yeah. <laughs> what you gonna say i was just gonna say like so if a revenant dies, it inhabits a nearby corpse, right? Yeah. So what if 
the revenant was killed when we were killing the bandits that doesn't make sense right Unless does it that, make sense that, that tough lady was the bandits huh Unless that tough lady we killed was a revenant. Oh, the one who shot all those arrows. Yeah. No, Could but well, maybe the, maybe they were just like nearby. But then why why would anyone that was trying to kill us, you know, a revenant wouldn't care about killing us, right? It could just be that like this person was like the nearest available person to what the revenant was actually doing. Are there? Any tracks? Make a survival check. I'm going to ask that to someone else because. Em, you can make a survival check. <laughs> you you don't have advantage on this one. Okay, it's thirteen. All right. Um, easy enough to spot. Uh, you you already had seen the tracks, the Revenant's own tracks. Um, there is there's more recent tracks around. Um, which is a smattering of. It's hard to tell the number. Um, but they look like goblin tracks. Oh, goblins! Oh. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just gonna... Stack those goblins! And you said there were like eight stab wounds, right? So the goblins are fucking. I didn't killed. say a number. Just multiple stab wounds. See it. Um, seeing that. Primarily, the stab wounds are primarily dagger and rapier <laughs> stab wounds. Um, with Nimbo's high roll, you would be able to tell the weapon. Damn. Seeing the footprints, I will turn to the rest and say it looks like it looks like we might be in a slight moment of trouble and cast Mage Armor on myself. Um, <laughs> okay. uh, Alex in the chat, you're not allowed to stack more goblins. You have hit your goblin quota for today. <laughs> nope, they're allowed to stack more goblins until the goblins. Oh no! If they've if you've already redeemed goblins, you cannot redeem more goblins during this stream. Yes. I didn't say the goblins are already here. You can stack goblins until the goblins roll initiative. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> can we tell where the goblin tracks lead um, or come from? With a 13, it's gonna be quite tricky to try to follow them. Um, they're very jumbled. The fields have been relatively recently tilled. I might ping detect magic. Okay. Um, nothing. You stole all of this guy's equipment. <laughs> yeah. Salvaged. <laughs> yeah. Upcycled. He wasn't using it anymore. <laughs> Made a profit. Yeah, no. Um, no, there's the detect magic. It's not setting anything up. Okay. okay. Maybe we're just... Okay, so this scenario here. There was a revenant. It got killed somewhere near where we fought those guys. It happened to this guy, and this guy came over here for some reason, probably because he was dumb, and then got killed by goblins. And then the kid said that they saw another. Yeah, so there's another revenant. But this this, this must be the this must be the last face. night revenant, not the old revenant. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Muck, you remember that once a revenant dies, they will in inhabits a new fresh corpse that is nearby yeah. yeah so the first revenant that was spotted was a couple of weeks ago another one was spotted last night and did the what oh sorry Rachel, and... on you go. i was just gonna say why would there be another corpse around here whose corpse the baker maybe, maybe? yes maybe we should check out the bakery hmm I mean... What are you reading, Sam? Because no, re you're crying out loud. No, I'm, I'm laughing at my own thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Which I'm going to keep to myself. <laughs> right, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Disconcerting in itself? Um, Look, I don't know what's happening in the chat. I need y'all to tell me when something funny happens. Um, 
All right, you can absolutely, um, this at the moment, you might be able to ask around about stuff in town, but like you've pretty much investigated here what you're gonna find. Unless someone comes yeah. up with something creative. I mean, we could go like turn this guy into the captain and get money, even though we were the ones who killed him, so we function and get paid for the same guy twice. Maybe we can do that at the end. I don't this think is kind that, of evidence yeah. still. I, I don't think it's important. But we, but we should probably tell the captain about the dead body nonetheless. Yeah, we should Otherwise, tell the someone kids we will found tell her. It. And they'll get That's the something. credit. When it was us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as... Go for no, it. yeah. I'm just thinking yeah. about bodies and so is this body we found, this yes. is not <laughs> This is not, no. Oh. Rachel's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> it was so a too forceful movement with your hand. Sorry. You I'm cut off after you said not. You're all good. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, this isn't the new corpse, right? This is but it's not the newest, probably. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, didn't my medicine on my medicine check, the the stabbing yeah. happened yeah. last night. Last night, yeah. So, oh, so okay, so, it's so like, this was about the, this eight was hours the body ago. From yeah. Last night. Mm. Yes. That was murdered by goblins in the night time. We're well, doing like a sharp oh, blind oh, pass yes. reconstruction or, here. Or, yes. <laughs> or, or, you know. Last night got a load of stab wounds and met a lot of goblins. <laughs> wait, wait, goblins wait. and stab wounds were involved. You've not seen anything that would indicate goblins did stabbing, but it's possible. It's a, it's an option. Maybe, wait, I just had a thought here. Like, okay, so there's no blood coming out the wounds, right? No. How are we going it... to get revenant blood if it doesn't bleed? Well, that my thought is we just like cut it open a bit, see if there's any like blood like squinched up in the arteries or anything. Um, there is, yeah. If you were to do that, it just it does the heart doesn't beat in a revenant, so it oh, doesn't so get so pumped we, we out. Toothpaste but there it is out. The, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> which of us is doing that job, and which of us is going to have the little collecting? Like, what we but also, is so it like actually just, there's no reason to actually investigate this quest. We could just take the blood now and go. But is it like a ship of Theseus? Like this guy isn't a revenant. He's just the revenant handle. You, you like? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Revenant. Just yeah. The revenant of the revenant. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. You can make a make an arcana check to see if taking blood from this corpse would fulfill. Would you th if you think that would be enough? Guidance. I, I I I don't know. <laughs> I don't have you any can... arcana knowledge. Arcane knowledge. Well, I, I can help. As the, as All right, yeah. Help, help, help. Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead and roll. Um... Okay. Guidance. <laughs> as this is undead, can I get advantage on that? With the... yes, you do have advantage on this. Yeah. Okay, so the first one was a twenty, and the second one's fifteen, so a twenty. Twenty. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're pretty sure that. When you were asked for the blood from a revenant, it needs to be a body currently possessed by a revenant, uh, not a body formerly possessed by a revenant. I mean, so why did all this for nothing? <laughs> so we need to, to we need to toothpaste squeeze a still possessed revenant, or just like yeah. chop off a finger or something. Or that, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But okay, but if we did that, by definition, would it then not be part of a? Like, it would at it, that it's, moment it's a, it's have the, the revenant point of extraction. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love Hogan's comment in the chat. We didn't have like orange juice earlier on, but we do have freshly squeezed revenant blood. <laughs> nice <laughs> blood orange. Blood orange. Blood, blood orange. <laughs> oh lord. So... With bits in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the clots. Okay. So back so... to report. The corpse and check out the bakery. Okay. Is that the plan? Yeah. Is that um, the plan? yeah. yeah. I pressed the digitate Nimbo clean. Very good. Cheers. Probably sensible. Um, as you head back towards the shop square, the children, like, they're, like, not rushing up to you anymore, but they're, is it a revenant? Did you, it, were we right? Did you find it? Is it dead? Is it, what happened? Not anymore, it's not. 
Em's kind of concerned and wants to speak to their parents just so they know that we weren't doing anything dodgy in the woods. Well, <laughs> <laughs> conveniently for you, the butchery uh, is right next to the bakery. Um, and the candlestick is it next maker. To the candlestick maker. <laughs> and mm, there's no candlestick maker. There's a tailor slash um, barber. Um, no, you also um, in the, the the square. There is um, a couple of like the local guards are there. If you wanted to report the body, you could just tell them. The um, kids look like they're like hedging their bets for if you're gonna follow them if they try to run into the field again. I th yeah, I think we should report to the guards just to stop the kids poking the body with a stick, which... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like prime entertainment out here. That's like... It's like the newest blockbuster movie of the year. Just exactly. Yeah. Prodding a body <laughs> with a stick. On a stick. Stab wounds. <laughs> Eight. Um, yeah, the guards look concerned, but had say they'll go and investigate and make sure the kids stay away. Um, the bakery uh, and the butcher is, they're both open if you wanted to go in. Bakery first? Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, bakery first. Alright. You enter the better bakery and it smells fantastic inside. Um, you can understand why their competition went out of business. Um, behind the counter, uh, which is laden with pastries and bread, um, is a like middle-aged um dwarven woman it's a, it, it, it's a high counter she's standing on a stool uh, uh welcome welcome to the better bakery what can i do for you i greet her in dwarvish oh always uh always happy to meet someone who speaks who speaks a proper language yeah um we are then... here yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do I transition from being like cool to being? We are here for two reasons. Oh, Rachel's. One. Uh, was his name Anton? Anton. Sorry. Anton, <laughs> yes. Anton. Yes. yes. Um, we hear your baker Anton has gone missing. Uh, yeah, a few months ago. Um... Oh, months. I thought it was weeks. Okay. Oh, he's been missing for about four months now. Um, yeah, tragic. He was, well, he wasn't the best baker, but, you know, he had, he could have learned. Um, he was, he was dedicated, usually. Mm. Um, are you friends of his? No, we are private investigators. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 18. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> right. Um, plus nine. <laughs> Holy shit! Borta's good at very few things, but deception is one of them. I'm good at pretending um, I'm good at a lot of things. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's basically um, the same. Borta is just fake it till you make it. Um, uh, well, I mean, wow. Okay. Um, if he owed any money, I um, you know, I was just his employer. Um, what, what would you like to know about him? He received some Magic the Gathering cards that hadn't been released yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, are we, we are, we talked about this last time, we're cops, are we Pinkertons? No. <laughs> You're not strike busters, though. <laughs> yet. Child, child soldier, Pinkertons, who spend their time... There are child soldier Pinkertons. <laughs> invading wow. frog kingdoms. You spend your time yeah. invading frog kingdoms. And yeah. luring children into a forest. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Field. Field. Okay. That's entirely into different. Into a corpse field, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, did he have any friends or enemies around here? Oh, well, um, Anton was very social, um, he always had a different girl on his arm, uh, so I assume he had both friends and enemies because of that, um... Anyone yeah, you wouldn't... might have wanted to harm Anton? Oh, that I wouldn't know, he wouldn't tell me. Did he have any... deaths? I don't think so. 
No, I no, he was a, he was a very friendly man. Just um, you know, a bit of a uh, not around town a little. Not, Nothing not... wrong with that in your uh, younger years, is there? Was he spending any time with the dead mice? I honestly, I didn't inquire. I think he spent a lot of time everywhere when mm. he wasn't here. I mean, you know the names of any of his exes. Oh, sure. I mean, everyone knows about him, and, um, well, my, uh, my neighbor's eldest, uh, Thalia Lofholt, um, that was, uh, I think, I think her mother put a stop to that, actually, um. So that's presumably the older sister of the kids we've just met. Yes. Yeah. Presumably, yes. Um, as in, there was, um, hmm? as in, like, Probably that kid from the ta like the shop is that like that so that girl no from the well shop, mm, maybe you you haven't uh, the love halts are the butchers okay so possibly you haven't met you didn't get that girl's name as far as I know remember so um there was um uh Marigold um oh who else was there he spent quite a lot of time with um uh, with the mayor's daughter Julep a uh, lovely girl. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Again, another voice in Nimbo's head going, "Don't blow your cover." Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, good. But, but yeah, that's well, interesting well, information, isn't well, it? Why, why would that be weird? Um, yeah, the so the the baker has now like settled in on the counter for like a good gossip, and is not really looking at any of you. Um, those were the main three that I remember him in the, it, you know, right before he disappeared, at least. Um, so, oh, I'm sure there were others. Yeah, yes? So the mayor could have had him killed. Oh, I don't <laughs> think Mayor Keras would do something like that. I... Well, if, if he was uh, messing around with his daughter, like, who knows what kind of berserker rage he could go into. <laughs> Might I look? Might I interject at that point <laughs> and just like I, I will just kind of come into the conversation, and say to Blotter, but I, I think perhaps it's not wise to go around the mayor's town accusing him of murder. Um, I, Lord, I, I want you to make a persuasion check, please. <laughs> uh, twenty-one. Uh, <laughs> the baker is considering it. It's like, <laughs> with the mayor? Was it the mayor? Who, did he have Anton killed or like ran him out of town or something? Not paying attention to you. I mean, well. the other day he did seem to be reacting badly to seeing that guy from the dead mice turn up, so maybe they had an arrangement. You uh, were not there, Blurta. I, oh, yeah, I wasn't. That's <laughs> no, you right. get sent to your room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I rewind that. That didn't happen. <laughs> it... <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Um, this is just a theory, obviously, but uh, we will get to the bottom of this. Right. Yes. I'm. I'm. I'm sure. Um, if you're, I. I do still. He used to live. Um, uh, in the back. I. I do still have some of his belongings. If you. If that would be helpful to you. That would definitely help our investigation. For a small fee, of course. I mean... I, I, I don't want to say, but, like, if someone killed him, who's to say they, they aren't keeping track of you, too? Like, it's for your own safety that we are investigating. <laughs> make, another, make another deception check. <laughs> we have so much money. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> oh dear, no, I, I hadn't considered that. Uh, I definitely have enemies, let me tell you. Oh, I, when my, I, there used to be another bakery in town, and when they, hmm, they went out of business, they blamed me. It's not my fault, mine's the better bakery. Um, well, Maybe me, they um, were out for revenge. Just gonna go grab Anton's things. Um, <laughs> leaves, comes back, and it's not—it's not a lot. There's like there's a small bundle of essentially what looks to be mostly clothes, uh, but she uh, sets it on the counter for you to take with okay. you. Um, you, you, 
you said there was a second thing you wanted? Oh, yes. Also, we would like to commission a cake in the shape of a bollywog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It might need some kind of um, protective travel box. Yes, yes. Yeah. Cake box, ta yeah. Taking it to a friend out of town. Right. Um, how, <laughs> big, how big would you like the cake? Mm, how, how big can you make a cake? How big is a bullywog? <laughs> <laughs> like life size. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> life size bullywog cake. Um, about as big as you are. They're medium <laughs> humanoids. Okay, maybe maybe not that big. <laughs> <laughs> like, like maybe like the size of my head. I was thinking like a square foot. <laughs> I mean, the size of your head. Mimbo's head is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You want no, a? No, no, no. Do you, you want the cake to be in the shape of a bullywug, or do you want a cake with a bullywug on top of it? Maybe like a scene where you got one bullywug like on a throne kind of thing, and then. All the other races. <laughs> We're making a Bullywug supremacy cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> what is happening tonight? Like... We've commissioned a racist cake. It's. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I just think they would like it if we really care about getting these damn berries. I'm, then I mean, you're not wrong, but also <laughs> just <laughs> we we could we could commission a cake with like a very handsome bully wood or something. Just like yeah. um, maybe doing like, like a hero pose of some sort. Yeah, with like those kind of cool sunburst lines coming out from under <laughs> behind it, so it looks kind of majestic. Yeah, that works. I'm assuming you're having this discussion in the shop right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're, like we've got out like uh, bits of like uh, paper and we're like sketching little drafts and stuff. <laughs> right. And um, do you have any so a, a art of a bullywug with l beautiful lights behind? Uh, uh, what does a handsome bullywug look like? Honestly, we don't really know. But <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll make him. I'll have make heard, a handsome the, bullywug. The I'm sure. I'm sure I can come up with something. like Squidward, want some Squidward Have you heard of the gnomish concept of kawaii? <laughs> Natural one, no she hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it real cute, give it big eyes. Big, okay. I'm sure I can make a handsome bullywog. I'll, I'll go find some, um, uh, I'm sure I've got a I've got a very learned friend. I'm I'm sure I can borrow a book with some pictures. And um, what flavor would you like it to be? Dagmar, would I know what bullywogs eat? H having been like sorrow adjacent and knowing um, a lot about nature make a and nature, make a nature like, check. The DC okay. for you will be relatively will be lower than for the rest of the group on this. Guide me. Oh, well, we man, just bring in a load of Colin, today. the caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm running very hot. That's 24. Okay, yeah. Um, bullywogs tend to eat similar diets to frogs and toads, um, but with additional, they will eat larger uh, creatures as well than frogs and toads do. Could we make um, this potentially maybe a, like a meatloaf type cake? <laughs> um, with like. <laughs> Mr. Some, Race's like... meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> A bullywug riding a bat on a motorcycle coming out of the flames of hell. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna need cricket flour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we if we could get some like some yeah, some some cricket flour, so some bugs, some worms. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like the old bird. Her face is just dropping with everything you mention. <laughs> well, surely the butcher next door will have the things you need. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. You... Maybe. Do you know anyone with an oven? Because <laughs> I think we might have to make this ourselves at this point. Um, right, this isn't going to be cheap. Mm. When do you need it by? ASAP. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, the day after. I mean, we're not in, we're not in a crazy, um, crazy rush. 
<laughs> right. Well, days. I'll need to. I'll need to talk to Sonia um, and get meatloaf. Um, <laughs> Bug loaf. And I'll need to find a book on bullywugs. Um, and then I'll have to design the picture. And um, is this is going to um, for my time and then the supplies? Um, twenty gold now. Twenty when you pick it up. That's an expensive cake. Um, obviously, oh, it's not... a very no, no, silly no, request no, to make. No, no, no. <laughs> it's an expensive cake, but it's a bargain for your expertise. Yes, I hear. I hear. Give you the twenty gold. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying right, to undervalue um, your skills. Very good. Um, well, well I'll have it owners. ready. It always be paid fairly. <laughs> I because I'll need to, I'll need to ask Sonia to make me some fresh meatloaf, so that'll be tomorrow. It'll be ready day after tomorrow at uh start of uh when I open at at the very <laughs> Yes tomorrow No no I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be on our best behaviour Let's scare some children let's intimidate the children the children loved that. They thought it was great. <laughs> yeah. Let's show them a corpse field. <laughs> we no, no, they we showed a us a corpse field. Yeah, they showed us. Oh. We told if them anything, they traumatized um, us. Yeah. If anything, yeah. it's ch they're child abusing us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half of us are children. You have placed your order for... <laughs> want some bullywug meatloaf cake. So it, it feels like Next time we level up, someone needs to take the chef feet for when we inevitably do this again. <laughs> my home character, my, my character in my home game as the chef feet nice. is so much fun. <laughs> he just makes tiny little finger sandwiches. Um, you have also gained a bundle of Anton's belongings and the shop owner is looking at you like kind of wanting you to get out now. Nobody in this town wants us to be here. <laughs> Yeah. Of belongings. to make a handsome racist <laughs> bully walk meatloaf cake. No, we retracted the racism. We took out the racism. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. That's you discussed yeah. the racism. <laughs> yeah, because I think it wouldn't work. To be fair, yeah, it's no, it's knowing our audience. We're already caught. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> butchers? So should we <laughs> Sure, let's go to butchers and then maybe let's find somewhere somewhere private to look at Anton's stuff. Yeah. Um yep, you go next door to the butchers. Um there's a, a couple of humans behind the counter, uh, clearly as we're mother heading and over, daughter. As we're out in the square, I'll I'll give blood to guide us again. Okay. What we actually um, what do we actually want off these people? I don't even remember at this point. We want to know so, about Anton from the butcher's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Thalia Lothol. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there's two um human woman behind the counter. Uh daughter's probably about your age, um, maybe a little older. Um, oh, right there, Muck. <laughs> <laughs> um, afternoon, how can we help you? Afternoon. Um, we are um, investigating Anton's disappearance and was wondering if we could ask a few questions. <laughs> Looks over at her mother. I mean, it's not busy right now, so I guess what you want to know. Um... So, am I correct in that you were um, associated with him? Um, excuse me, sorry, before we proceed, um, we're, we're private investigators. Um, it's standard procedure just to, you know, set up a little formal um, conversational interview environment. Um, would you mind if I just did a simple incantation just to bless this conversation? Make a persuasion check. Or Ooh. actually, deception. Deception check. 
I mean, what? Where's the light? Uh, you're not private <laughs> investigators. And we are being we are being paid to find a revenue. Yeah. And you are attempting to cast a zone on, of truth on people um, in their own shop. Okay, that's a 15 deception. Okay. Or 15 persuasion, the same modifier. Um, the daughter's like, yeah, I mean, I guess, and mother's, what exactly is this incantation? It's, um, it's a zone of truth. Um, it's a, uh, it's a blessing of, uh, Varea. I know what it does, yeah. You really think my daughter's gonna lie to you about that piece of shit? No, it's just standard procedure. Um, I don't, I don't make the rules, you know? Uh, if you want to do that, you can manage. do it outside of my shop. And not during my girl's working hours. I respect that. Sorry, sorry I raised it. I mean, so... Do you want to talk now, or...? So, you, you say this guy was a piece of shit. Like... My mom says that. Do you agree? I say it too, yeah. Okay. And... Would you say the things ended between you in a uh... Alex has forgotten words because it's <laughs> late. Uh... Amicable? Person. Amicable. Yeah. yeah. Well, whatever the opposite of amicable is, was what I was saying before. Acrimonious. That's the one. Yes. Wow. Uh, My brain just went despicable. <laughs> Tiny and um, yellow and dressed in denim overalls. How that's Anton to a T. Um Look, Anton was handsome. I liked him. We, you know, went out for drinks a couple of times, and then I turn up to the bar on my own once, and he's having drinks with someone else. So, no. It didn't end well between us. Wasted my time. Hmm. Who, 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 um, who, what bar, who, who was he having, who was he, I mean, who was he having a drink with? Julep, of course. Blush. <laughs> <laughs> and how recently was this? Well, I don't know, like six months ago or something? See, si, see. Si. Mm. Mm. And who is Marigold? Um, uh, it's probably Marigold Grumble. There's a couple of Marigolds, but I heard Anton fucked around on Julep with Marigold, so it's probably Marigold Grumble. Thank you. Is there anything yep. that we should know about the Grumbles? Because we, we know who the families are, but who are the Grumbles? <laughs> I don't think Marigold's got much family around here. Uh, kind of just like a farmhand or something. I don't know. We don't really interact much. Uh, do I do I think that she has been I've, all, all this time? I've been kind of trying to yep, suss her out. Do I think she's been truthful? Inside check. Inside check. Now I roll badly. That's a ten. Chrono shift. Oh, oh okay. Reroll. <clears throat> That's an eighteen. Okay. Um, <clears throat> doesn't seem happy that you're asking her about Anton. Um, she's definitely trying to act more nonchalant about the end of the relationship than she maybe felt at the time. Um, <clears throat> seems to kind of have pushed it down. Try not to think about it. But healthily repressed. Yeah. Yeah. But. <laughs> Honest, uh, really doesn't seem to like Julep. Um, genuinely doesn't really seem to know much about Marigold. When was the last time you saw Anton? Well, I saw him every day because he worked next door. Um, but I don't know, then he just took off, I guess. So I haven't seen him since. About four months ago. And he, he didn't say anything or act weird or anything like that that you saw. If he'd walked in here and she 
picks up a cleaver out of, like, a chopping board. You wouldn't have been welcome. I like your style. Yeah. My next question was, was, it's kind of answered by what you just said. I was going to ask if, you know, anyone in this town might mean him harm. It sounds oh, like... Probably. Sounds like he harmed a few people, so... Yeah. Wasn't really a nice guy in the end. Did he ever hang around at the dead mice? That you know of? I think so. I mean, he was picking up girls all over the place. Oh, probably. Wasn't really his kind of crowd, but, you know. Sometimes you don't want to listen to the mayor's stuffy music. Amen to that. Hmm. Um, Dagmar. Yes. You said that the tracks that we saw from the yesterday's yeah. Revenant were heading mm -hmm. towards, the diagonally towards the south side of town? Yeah. What is over there? Um, so you're currently in the shop square. To the north of this is the high road that leads towards the citadel. Um, mm -hmm. To the south is Fox Lane, where the Dead Mice Bar is. Mm -hmm. And then there's... It kind of curves around um, towards the other high road, which leads back down the cliffs that you first arrived from. Um, so it's mostly, other than the Dead Mice Bar, as far as you know, there's mostly just houses down there. So maybe we should... Hmm. So... If... Okay, and this is... I'm sort of going to rewind a second here. If we were to go back to the tracks to where the corpse are, and were to follow them in a... Were the, the tracks going in like a straight line? Is yes. how I was picturing if we were to like continue the trajectory of where they were going you wouldn't have ended up you would have ended up sort of on the side of town but mm -hmm. we wouldn't have ended up like right at the bar or anything no no but you would have kind of skipped all of the shop square and yeah. north road and stuff so yeah we're looking at the south Anywhere in the south is a target. Yeah. So we've got. And um, do you, oh uh, do we know where Marigold lives? Marigold Grimble. I don't, but I'm sure someone around here will. Um. Well, the um, what is it? The not sheriff. The, the lady, the heart, captain. The captain. captain, thank you. Yeah. The captain was talking about farmers and disputes, and Marigold is a farm hand, so we could mm -hmm. ask the captain about some farms yeah. locally. Captain Durst's a good person to ask about that kind of stuff. Uh, she'll probably know. Seems to know everything that goes on around here. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Anything else you want to know, or... Well, we're, no. we're staying at the. I mean, I would I would say come and see us at the Skillard Loop, but it seems like probably not a place you want to hang out. Um, but if you if you do, you know, ever want to, if you ever remember anything or you want to let us know anything, um, yeah, that's I'll where you can find, find us. Sure. Now, I'll be honest. I try not to think about Anton too much. I respect that. Alright, well either. do you want any meat? Well, um <laughs> probably want to save some for the for the baker. They're gonna they're gonna need some over the next couple of days. They're making a an art okay. piece for us. Um yeah. do you, well, all right, then. Any, like do they have any like pre cooked stuff like sausage rolls or equivalent thereof? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just get a couple of like bits for the road. Yeah, pork pie. I'll take a pork pie for the road. Yeah, they've got you pork will. pies. 
silently. You will then. Oh, it's silent, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, well, Blurta, who are you buying, uh, pastries for? Um, this time I bought them for everyone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, mark off two silver. Um, for, you will get, uh, yeah, there's pork pies or sausage rolls, uh, whatever you prefer. Do, do we see M take a pork pie? M? I would try and not have that happen. If we can try everyone it roll <laughs> stealth check versus perception checks, please. I mean, I, I wouldn't be actively looking. I'm but... gonna do a thing because I've had it for two sessions, I've not had anything to do with it, and I can't stack them. So, I'm gonna use my moment of awesome that has been stacked <laughs> <laughs> to just stealthily take a uh, pork pie. All right, uh, yeah, you managed to time it just right. Um, and it's like one of those comedic, it's like gone in one gulp. Um, so by the time someone turns around to look at you, there's no evidence there was ever any meat anywhere near you. Look at that, just yeah, inhaled it. <laughs> Alright. Not a crumb. Uh, you leave the butcher. I sure you don't want uh, something yet. No, no, I had like good, um, good tapas and other things recently, so I'm. Sure. Yeah, keeping keep full. Thank you. No worries. And on that note, as you leave the butcher, back step back into the shop square. Um, your investigation into the revenants and the fuckboy that is Anton will need to continue next week. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, it is now time for you to vote on your MVP for this week. Um, Who's everyone's MVP? Who's getting that new moment of awesome? Who are you pointing at? Uh, I was trying to point at Blurta. Uh, Me too. <laughs> Blurta's Her child wrangling was excellent. Child wrangling, uh, shopkeeper threatening, mm. uh, everything. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know what, what are people saying in the chat, Sam? Uh, Alex said D four says M. Okay. Uh, but I would also went for Blurta. I think if the players are overwhelmingly agreeing on one person, I'm gonna go with them over D4 rolls. Um, I think that that's only fair. Morgan has also um, said Blurta as well. Blurta, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, Alex, uh, mm, you have finally. a moment of awesome. <laughs> yeah! Finally, no, it took me seven, seven sessions weeks. in. <laughs> um, geez, we've been doing this for seven weeks already. Um. Join us again here next week, uh, 7 p.m. on Wednesday, for the continuation of the Pinkerton investigation by the what? Revenant Hunters. No, um, <laughs> it's gotten weird. Um, there will be updated names for everyone with their new Revenant Hunter names. I'm yeah. already on it. I'm already on it. <laughs> I'm sure you are, Sam. <laughs> Might be getting closer to a group name, and I can just stop calling you the gang. Um, <laughs> no, uh, this was a great session. Remember, if you um, uh, haven't sent proof of your donations yet to Science Sorcery Twitter account, it's at Science Sorcery, and you'll be entered into a giveaway um, to win some awesome stuff. If you want to help support the show, uh, we're on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash science and sorcery. And I don't think we've actually mentioned this yet. Um, we're going to be at Cheltenham Science Festival. Uh, Sam, Alex, and I. Tickets are on sale now. We've got two science and sorcery shows on Saturday the 10th of June in Cheltenham, live. Uh, there will be some guests, probably, which we'll need to, you know, announce later. Uh, and I'm doing stand-up in the evening as well, so, uh, you know, come watch us if you're near Cheltenham. Uh, Khalil, you've got some stuff happening next week. you want to tell the people about it? Yes, uh, the reason that I have such big bags under my eyes right now is uh, at the Nat Christian Museum, where I do my day job, I'm bringing back lates. So uh, if you're in, on, or around London next weekend, not this one coming, but Friday the 5th of May in the evening, uh, it's a free evening event all about uh, you know, senses and the role that they play in our relationship with nature. We got bars, we got food, We've got a tattoo artist tattooing people. So We've cool. got a gallery of nature tattoos. We've got the smells of space. We've got deep caves in Ecuador. 
we've Amazing. got uh 3d printing we've got zine workshops uh we got we got it all come uh free tickets uh but you do have to book a time ticket so if you go to nhm.ac.uk slash events slash lates uh that should be the url or just go to my twitter at dr talks a lot it'll be near the top um you can also if you go to the instagram page of the tattoo artist who we're hosting and the elder they are holding an online raffle where you can submit your name to win a free tattoo on the night at the museum um we've got some beautiful flash designs that are based on stuff at the museum and as an incredible tattoo artist i have three tattoos by them um go check them out check out their page see if you can spot my one and yeah hopefully see you there is your tattoo a Velocal Lobster? It isn't. It is. Well, I have three. I have Gilgamesh and Enkidu from the Epic of Gilgamesh. And I oh. have a tiny dinosaur with a giant human skull for it. <laughs> nice. Actually. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Um, on that note, it's a fantastic note to end on. Uh, unless someone has another announcement, I don't think so. I'm just writing my thesis. Ah! <laughs> Send Rachel love on Twitter so she can write her thesis like a boss. Um, we will be back here next week, Wednesday. See ya soon and have a great rest of your week, folks. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone. Oh, one, Sam, are you sending people one on a raid? Week we'll get it. Uh, we're going to go on a raid. <laughs> um, I've got a raid all set to go. We're going to go over and see Captain Robear. Um, they are also running uh, D&D. It's been going for six and a half hours. Um, so uh, go and see that's those too folks. many there are some awesome people playing in that so that is set up now um so that's getting ready now we can go see you all soon folks all right bye, enjoy folks. the raid bye